aim after something. Yeah, and we got uh, Brother Garfield Reed, the author in the building, and he ain't had a chance to speak. Peace to Garfield. What's up? You got the floor. Hey, peace, King. Hey, hey, peace and love to everybody on the panel. Hey, peace to Smash. Smash, I got a question before I make my statement. I know you did a video and I just tuned in and I don't want to repeat what you already said. Did you already address the Manfred Beta claim or anything like that? No, go right ahead. Thank you, Garfield. All right, cool. Now, with that gentleman by the name by the name of um, Anonymous Hebrew, we talk in the background. Eponymous. He's got a eponymous name. <laughs> right. So Anonymous Hebrew um, and um, Orthodox more, they have their own theory of what happened with the Exodus because they are believers. So what they do is try to find things and they are very tricky. So to debate those guys, this is why I'm glad Smash said, I don't have to debate. I'd love to have a dialogue because what they'll do, they'll put you in a debate and then they'll bring up all these sources and mix match them. And then sounds very convincing. Now, let me just read this real quickly. It's going to take like 45 seconds. There is a guy by the name of Manfred Bita. They like to use him. He's one of the top Egyptologists because he researched Tel El Daba, right? So what happened is this site covers two square kilometers. And what happened is he said, this is what Manfred Bita said. We uncovered the remains of a huge town of 250 hectares with a population approximately 25,000 to 30,000 individuals. These were people who have originated from Canaan, Syria, Palestine. Originally, they may have come here as subjects of the Egyptian crown or with the blessing of the Egyptian crown. Obviously, this town enjoyed something like a special status, like a free zone, something like that. Indications are that there are other such settlements of Asiatics from the same period in other areas of Egypt. So when Beta now was asked whether the residents of Avaris could have been Israelites, Beta didn't think so. He said, we have some evidence of shepherds. We find again and again in this area pits with goats and sheep. So we know shepherds, probably Bedouins with huge herds roamed about around this. But to connect this, and this is key now, Smash, because remember, he kept saying the proto-Israelites, proto-Israelites. I'm going to show you how conniving these guys are. But to connect this with the proto-Israelites is a very weak affair. This is what BTAC says. According to my opinion, the settlement of the proto-Israelites in Canaan only happened from the 12th century BC onwards. So Avaris is too early, according to the mainstream view, because of researchers and the, the whole Ramesses Exodus theory. So he's now using saying all oh, the people left and so forth. Another argument now that I want to um, have, have Smash addressed that I'm not too clear about that I need help with is this whole thing about Manitho through Josephus saying that 240,000 people left Egypt when they were expelled. And the thing is, I had a sit-down conversation with a gentleman called Ralph Ellis, this so-called white guy that claims he knows Egypt. He thinks the Hiscos are Israelites also. Um, and in the discussion in the UK, we have it on video. He said that the Hiscos, and my thing was like, what is the archaeological evidence you have of a mass migration out of Egypt in that time period? He says none exists. But the only thing that they have is that 240,000. And you just heard BTAC said that the village was around 25 to 30,000 people. So is there anything, in, one, in Egyptian records that speak of this quarter, almost quarter million amount of people leaving Egypt? And two, is it, um, do, why, why, are we, what, why do they, um, we talk about the expulsion and then they compare it to the exodus, like the numbers? So that's where they got it from. So maybe if Smash, you probably found something oh. that I don't know about. Oh man, you know that ain't there. Like, you know, in, in the Egyptian records, there's no uh, record of that. Uh, the closest thing they try to go to is just like you cited, is the works of Manito left to us through Josephus. And he said that they, he didn't say they were expelled like that. He said they were outcast to Avaris because they were e lepers. He didn't say they was the Aamu. He said this was native Egyptians. And then, uh, and they were lepers. This is Manito. So this account could be not right too, because he had about what, 
300, 252, something, you know, something like that, BC. So he really don't know what happened back then either. But nevertheless, he gave us the two things. He gave us the confusion about the word hike soaks, uh, as if they was like a people. And then he gave us the fact that they were, they used the virus, so, so to speak, like an outcast location that lepers got sent to. Now he said there was a, um, a pharaoh or something uh not a pharaoh but somebody who who took him up out of there or whatever this is manito trying to give an account that corroborated uh some other type of shit but we can pull that up just to make sure we not getting uh we not getting it twisted or what have you though you know what I'm saying? yeah because the um the, te- the i know the tempest stele they trying to use that too but I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, I haven't read that for like 10 years now. I don't remember what it says in there. But I know I don't I don't recall any numbers, big numbers in the Tempest Steeler either of any expulsion. Yeah, definitely there's no there's no real um there's no real work on that. But Reggie, speak to that if you if you can. No, I mean there are um uh, issues in ancient in, in ancient Egypt, so there's a, a tale of two brothers, right? And um, and there are groups of people moving in and out. They're having disputes, right? Um, but it doesn't equate to those amounts of people that they claim on Exodus is for. The, it's the Bible narrative, and then it's Josephus adding, because he's Hebrew, right? He's adding, that's his uh, thinking, and he's adding information from a time period far away from the issue that happened. But the but when it comes down to archaeology, where is the evidence? So the Tel Adaba would be where you would look, where you would look. And Garfield accurately said the amount of people that was living there at the time, right? Not saying, and so then where would the other people come from? Right. If it, 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 where would the other people come from? Uh, let's say that there was a movement out. Okay, so Teladaba is a, is abandoned or whatever the case. Right or, or move. Where is the traces in Egypt now of the of other groups moving? Where is the writing? Since they want to use the Egyptian record, they don't have their own records. The records would be the Egyptian record. So we don't have any objective evidence. For this, except for the story in a confirmation bias, right? Oh, okay. The Egyptians wrote about everything. Why would they not write about that? Right. right. Hey, Reggie, Reggie, before you um, before you finish, because I don't want anybody to cut in on what you're saying. I need to ask you and Smash a question because you guys actually read the text. And anonymous Hebrew, they like to say that the hundred thousand people that the can that they brought in on the records was to replace the people that left, the Jews that left or whatever, right? Now watch this. Um, and a matter of fact, I gotta use James Pan African Design's common sense in this because chronology really kills what they're trying to do. He's saying that the hundred thousand that they brought in is to replace eighty thousand or whatever that left. And I'm trying to figure out, do we have any records of that amount of people leaving But, but I don't understand. 100,000 that they brought in where? Um, I think during um, Amenhotep the sec- second or third, they had brought them in because of war or whatever. They brought people in. I mean, that's that's something regular. It's not something that's not it's something that cultures normally do. They brought them where? To where? Pi- pi- to, tel- to, e- to Egypt. To Egypt. Not to Tel Adaba, but to Egypt, period. I think it's Amino okay. the second or the third. But nah, no, that's no, no, another. That's not, that'll be anachronistic be, too. <clears throat> I think that was that's a, that would that. And we got uh we got uh, uh now Valley Hebrew got some help in the building. Is that Elder Yara? Yeah, can you hear me? Peace oh, to Elder now, Yara. Yara. Hold on, I want you to feel. I want him to feel welcome on the panel, so I'm gonna give you your greeting <laughs> hey, that you welcome deserve. Everywhere I go. Well, well, yeah, well, 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 shout out to you. Yeah, yeah, we can I hear you. But I always feel welcome around my people, man. Peace, 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 word right. up, word up. Well, I just have to get, give you your warm greeting that I give everybody. And so uh, you get your chance to have the floor. Somebody was just in the middle of their breakdown. I didn't want to cut them off. Now, Garfield, absolutely, what you were saying? 
Yeah, well, I was saying, I uh, just because they're a movement, um, when they use the word Egypt, that means all over Egypt. So if, if someone is replacing 100,000 people that moved, right? And then they and they use Egypt. No, they would, in the Egyptian records, they would say a place. They always say a place. And so just saying Egypt doesn't help the case because we're in Egypt. So if you're assuming that it's in Tel Adaba, if you're assuming that, then where would it be the uh, where would be the records? And then we, we I think we have enough records to uh, uh, an Egyptian records to talk about uh, the comings and goings in in that particular area. Um, but I do like Elder Yara, Elder Yara in in at least the issue of the uh, the the the, the Hekkasu or the people in that area and bringing in other groups of people in, um, how can I say, bringing in other people in, in let's say, Canaan, right? Uh, I think he does a, I think he does a, a fairly good job of it because I think he's, uh, he, he tries to see, follows a scholarly uh, record of saying that there are other groups of people that may have controlled the uh, old existing population of people in that area. And, he's, and, and, and if he doesn't change, he seems to think that some outsiders came in and they became the controllers. So uh, I'll get the, I'll re release what I had to say. Uh, Garfield, you have finished what you were saying? Um, yeah, no, let me just say that the, um, I, I wanted to know from you and Reggie, because you guys deal with the tech. So I just wanted to know, do you guys, have you guys seen records of 80,000 people leaving yeah, Egypt? Yeah, uh, not leaving. I remember okay. what you asked. Uh, uh, no, the, the, I think, but somebody had to prove it was right or right. I think they talk about a war, uh, who was it, Tutmos, one of the Tutmoses, where it was like they brought in 90,000, at least if we look at the primary, something about, 90,000 Canaanites that he supposedly brought in. We can look up that number. And so they, if they're saying that's to replace the, some uh, Canaanites who left Avaris, then they would be having to talking about the ex, some an expulsion that happened with Kamos and Amos. Now, and then if they try to link that with Pa Ramses, we'd have to jump up about three, four hundred more years after they so-called got expelled at that time period. So again, when he says a cultural and anachronism, it really don't make no sense because you saying it's anachronistic, but y'all accept it in your culture. I don't get it, but yeah, uh, that would be my answer to that. Yeah, I, I think, I think um, Amos, if I'm correct, was around 1550, right? Where they expelled our 1530. And the, 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 um, the Exodus is supposed to be 1446. So there's a lot of chrono chronological stuff that's going on here that has to be rectified. But then on top of it, you got the murder of Stile, which uses the, allegedly uses the term Israel. So if they're, which I think works against them, because at that time, if those people are Israel, which my brother um, disagrees with, but I'm just going to say what, the, um, what they're trying to say with the murder of But because at that time, Egypt was still in control of Canaan. So that actually don't make sense for the Israelites claim and them controlling um, Canaan at the time as far as what the Bible says about Joshua. But I'll yield at this point. You're right. I want to let, uh, I, I'm going to read this and then we're going to let Elder Yara get the floor because this is uh, basically a, a source on what we was talking about on Benito and Josephus. And so basically in this book, Benito by W.G. Waddell, which is just, there's no opinion in this book, it's just a collection of the earlier works. It says, in Benito, indeed, they found an unwelcome statement of the descendants of the Jews from lepers. All right, and so that was what Josephus found unwelcoming of uh, that statement that Manito, Manito said that these Jews descended from lepers, but they were able to identify their ancestors with the Hyksos. This is uh, what Josephus was able to do. And the exodus of the expulsion of these invaders. Okay, and so just to point now, and, and finally we can point to where when talking about Moses, which unfortunately, um, 
um, Manito was forced, not really forced to do, but he had to, he was trying to put this Hebrew story into context. He said that he was a native Egyptian who led them out of Avaris. All right. And so I just wanted to show that because we was talking about that earlier. But Elder Yara, uh, we want to hear from you. Hey, uh, peace to you, Smash Rockwell, and uh, peace to the panel. Um, shout out to uh, the brothers on the on the panel. Shout out to Nile Valley Hebrew. Um, shout out to you, fam. Um, I do want to say this. Uh, Reggie is correct in his assessment in my, in, in, in my take on when we're talking about the Exodus. We're never uh, saying that it is the actual native Egyptians or who we would consider native Egyptians that the Exodus story is talking about. We believe that the Exodus story is talking about a group of, of, of what we would term to be Hyksos who rose to power politically in the region during that time, during the time of Hashepsut. This is what the Bible tells us, that there arose a Pharaoh that knew not Egypt. So based on that, so based on that understanding, as well as what we see in extra biblical sources, and even dealing with Manfred B. Tech, as uh, as Garfield so eloquently uh, misquoted and misunderstood, is that what he shows is is that in the virus uh, that what we see is after the initial expulsion, right? After the initial expulsion of the Hyksos, there is a group, right, that remains there, right, and it's this leftover group who we refer to as the Proto Israelites, right. And so we've often made this statement and often make this claim uh, that this is what we see. So when we talk about the exodus, uh, we're not referring to that expulsion, not at all. When we talk about the exodus, we often we often look forward to what you just talked about, those 90 that almost had to go and bring back in to replace that workforce that apparently disappeared. Where did they go? He had to go and rebuild up their workforce. So he went out on this expedition to bring in about 90,000 uh, 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 workers or slaves, as we would call them, right? So the reason why he had to do that, in our understanding, is because of this abandonment or this exodus that takes place. Now, people want to have semantical arguments whether or not abandonment and exodus is the same thing, but when you really get out into it, it's a departure. It's a departure and not a forced departure, right? So when we get down, when we really get it, get down into it and deal with it, this is the paradigm that we deal with. Now we can see evidence of a virus in that when, when Manfred Bitek does his excavations down in the second, and actually in the uh, specifically in the second and uh, in the first and second strata, when he's down there excavating, he's showing us. That what these that there's a group of people that yet remain after their expulsion, who are sheep herders, goat herders. We actually have archaeological and anthrop anthropological evidence. They found they found uh, buried sheep. Uh, the burial, the way these people are buried, are not like the Egyptians and not like the Hyksos. They are different. Have a different burial style. The way the housing structures are built are are uh, are, are west or Western Asiatic. We see some things that we see moving forward as well uh, that we see show up again in the Levant region 200 years later, the same way these structures are built. Um, we have evidence of this, uh, 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 excavations that are being done and anthropological evidence we see in Perinefer, one of the port cities uh, down in that area of Avaris. So there's a lot of information um, that we have. We're not shoehorning information. And we're not, and what we're doing, we're not synthesizing information either with the biblical narrative, along with what we see in extra biblical sources. We're talking about the source information that is there in the anthropological, the archaeological records. This is what we're looking at. We're also looking at um, the uh, forced migration. When you talk about the Amu going back 1700 BCE, why were they even coming down? Why were these people even coming down into into Egypt? I know I'm moving backwards a little bit, um, but we talk about the theory eruption, right? Then we get into the uh, 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 the geological records when we look at the pumice, we look at the we look at the uh, uh, um, uh, the endochronology, uh, the chronology. We look at the trees, right? 
all of these scientific evidences that they have. We look at the water and the land bridges that they have. We have uh, uh, geological evidence for. So we're not just making claims based on the biblical narrative and trying to synthesize that. We're saying that the biblical narrative could be simply that just a, of of this memory of a people that actually went through these actual things, right? So, but we can look at uh, uh, scientific records and see that these things correlate and they act and they absolutely exist. So, to say that these things in no way are possible that they couldn't have, they couldn't have existed or couldn't have happened, no scientist. No true scientist, no scholar, and a consensus of scholars say that the exodus did not happen. That is not a consensus of scholars. Can and I so let me make this last point. Yeah, and then I'll, 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 I'll end. When we talk about a cons what a consensus of scholarship is, there has to be a meeting of the minds through interdisciplinary studies, right? Not just archaeology, but anthropology, sociology, linguistics that have to come together in a conference and agree or agree to disagree that something did or did not happen. We do not have that when it comes they to that already. Yeah, that was a, a very good breakdown. I'm gonna let you get in, Reggie, and we also you got yo, we got yo, anonymous yo, Hebrew in there. Hold, smash. hold on, what's up? Some don't sometimes don't be condescending to people. That wasn't a good breakdown. That was oh no, boring. that wasn't con condescending. Mean the opposite of what you said. Condescending mean the opposite of what you said. You mean he patronizing just, he just, or whatever? You would patronizing, condescending. They mean the same thing. Samuel, oh, chill, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Kind of saying mean that you yeah. think you better than you speaking down on somebody. I wasn't speaking down. That ain't what you mean, right? I'm going to jump off, question? but let, hold on one That's second. why the word descend the is in condescend. No, descend. To way? descend is to go oh, down. No, nah, nah, don't leave, Garfield. Right, don't hang leave, around, Garfield. Garfield. No, but don't leave. You call uh, my name. Whoever, well, but leave. whatever. We got this, Garfield. It's nothing. But peace to you and uh, uh, thanks for tapping in. I want to point out one thing um, real quickly. Mm -hmm. Israel exodus in transdisciplinary perspective. The text, the archaeology and everything. They did have a conference with over 40 scholars. The Exodus and what, and what, written, was, what was the outcome? Hold on, hold on one second. I, 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 yeah, yeah, let him speak, let him speak on molested, please. No, 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 what he's talking about, I'm just saying what he's talking about, I put it in the chat. It's right okay, there. thank you. Go and ahead. Anybody who wants the book can, can email me. This, this is a problem. Anonymous Hebrew is on here. What he does, and I'll say it while he's here, he'll quote Manfred Bitak and says that I literally just read Manfred Bitak. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna interview Manfred Bitak. You guys want to be on a panel, you could come on and you're going to hear from him. The proto-Israelites, he doesn't think they are proto-Israelites. You you guys made that up. He never said that. He said the proto-Israelites started in the 13th century BC. I have the interview when he said that. So for you guys to say proto-Israelites, that's from your perspective and you need to tell the audience that. Don't make up something because you want to make your belief into what you're saying. That's not what scholarship does. Now, if we're talking about a consensus, the consensus says that the Exodus as written in the biblical text is not true. That's not true history. What they're saying right now, the conclusion is coming from many, 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 many scholars. And I'm going to have three Egyptologists on in February. And they're also going to agree with what I'm saying is that the, the Exodus did not happen as written in the biblical text. They are saying that people may have left. And, and, and I don't know if you want to go and talk about that. I'm changing the whole subject right now. But this is what I wanted to ask Yara. One question. What is your archaeological evidence of 80,000 people leaving Egypt at any time period? 16th century, 15th century, 14th century, 13th century, 12th century. That's all I want to know. That's it. I, I have, I have another I got a that. question for you before you I leave. I have for that. that, that hold on. Let him answer. Then you, question, then you can man. get your question on. Question. One yeah, yeah. question. Hey, that it. means that means nothing to the argument of the Exodus. Oh man, you just can you answer the question, man? <laughs> it has nothing to do with the argument of the Exodus. You That's my just answer. said they had to replace the eighty thousand. You just said right. I said they had to replace. But they had to replace. Replacing? You're saying you're replacing, but who? That who is what. Can, that I, can is I answer? It? Hold on, let's let's keep it clean because it, it was like Absolutely. one of the best shows. Let's keep it going. Go ahead, Yara. Go ahead, Anonymous. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, um, 
Anonymous, before you go, so 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 just to be hey, clear, you don't have the Come floor. On, you don't have no, no, no. the floor. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Garfield, hold on, hold on, just let Anonymous go, and then we're gonna hear from floor, you. Bro. Calm down. No, no, no. I have no problem with Anonymous saying anything. I just want okay, to make it well, clear. Let him, let him answer the question. He did not answer the question. Now, Anonymous, right. the same question to you. Let me word it. Where is the evidence of this eighty thousand people, or whatever number you want to choose, leaving Egypt in the sixteenth century? The 15th century, the 14th century, the 13th century, or the 12th century BC? Yeah, no doubt. Um, so I'll say the evidence that we see um, and that everybody thought was so funny is the abandonment of Avaris in the 15th century. So here's the conversation, though. Let, let's make a few things. I never said, what? I've never postulated, I've never postulated that Manfred B. Tech says that these are the proto Israelites. I only use Manfred B. Tech's work to show the archaeological conversation. If you're going to ask me what PhD I would lean to to have this conversation, I would lean more to Dr. Scott Stripling, right, who is a PhD who, who leads the biggest digs in Israel at the time, right? So my argument or my conversation is about the proto-Israelites. The conversation is that the biblical narrative is about the, the establishment of the proto-Israelites that come out of Kemet. And I don't even understand why this is a hard conversation to have, right? So Nobody, Ivan, Ivan, allow me to allow me to finish, bro. The oh, other, hey, like, y'all been up here. No, let him finish. Let him finish, please. Brother Smash, brother Smash. Oh, brother what's smash. the problem, hold on, hold on, bro? What's the problem? Like, every time I come around, you call my name and you want to have a conversation. Just let him finish real quick. Just let him finish. I'm extremely calm. I'm extremely calm, bro, but I'm not going to let you over talk me. I'm not going to let you over talk me. Point What's the matter? Relax, relax, bro. Relax, bro. Relax, bro. But you, yeah, man, come on. Just, man. just let, let, all right. Let him let Garfield say it, yeah, and then you right, got the floor, right, anonymous. Right, you good? Right, you good? Right, you good? Right, you good. Right, right, I want to make a point of clarification. I mm -hmm. asked Brother Yara to show me the eighty thousand that he said earlier left out of Kemet that needed to be replaced. The brother I never anonymous. Said that. The, hold on, hold on. The bro, brother Yara, mm -hmm. chill out. The brother anonymous said, "Let me answer." Now, this brother just came on and act like he's big and bad and I can't act like anything, the brother. It can't oh. answer, answer the, question the question either. Because it's a lie. Now, how you going to say Now, hold on. Now, how you going to make that statement and you don't even have to answer the question? I'm trying to keep some answer. water and it's going to get hard. Let's let Anonymous respond for himself, y'all. Let's let Anonymous respond. Anonymous. Keep that question on the table. Yeah, we got the question, but let's let Anonymous respond. And let's, let's yeah, all, good. you know, it's better when good. we, let, the show is better when we hear from brothers. So let's let the brother have yeah. the floor. Hey, and first off, let me say this. Y'all can hear me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I'm in a whip, so forgive me. But yeah, I appreciate you for letting me come through Smash first off. It's good. It's always good. Out the way. Hey, so this is the type of things that Garfield, Garfield does when he knows that he in trouble. Right, we've been dealing with this for a long time. I'm on record beating him up with this conversation already, so it's okay. That's why he got to do the ad. That's why he got to do the ad homs, right? So oh, here's the conversation. Let's let's get this out the way. You can get it too, Savio, because I've been hearing you running your mouth too. So don't worry about it. You're gonna get it. Yeah, don't keep it on the oh, facts. Yeah. So Cause then people me. don't want to say I'm, something I'm back. See? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, see? Listen, bro. Look, look, you hey, rowdy. All y'all triggered. All y'all triggered. No, you get you rowdy though. Trick. You you rowdy though. That's why. Yo, you calling him out. He gotta say something back. But listen. All right. So let's let's let anonymous say what he got to say. Yeah. Answer the question. Go ahead. Answer the question. I'm gonna be strong. Keep, yeah, I hey, keep, nah, keep. don't 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 poke the caterpillar, man. Don't poke yeah, the caterpillar. Keep, just answer the question, yo. So, so hit us with the science. Hit us with the knowledge. All right, Save so look, you. so here's Savio don't know what condescending means, so don't need to answer the that. question, man. Just let him answer the question. I've been trying to answer it the whole time, <laughs> and actually, I did right, answer it, right? And I did I answer, answer it. Garfield, right, Garfield just lied. So we see, so a virus, but so when we look at a virus, a virus is a very large area. It was sprout like at this time period, it is it is crawling with people, right? Egyptians, Nubians, and Semites are all intermingled in this area. So this would also speak to the uh what we call the mixed multitude conversation. So it's easy to see how Avaris and Quantir would be responsible mm. for thousands of people leaving, right? So if you want to ask where do we see now, my argument isn't the eighty thousand and the 100,000. My argument is is that we do need to re-narrate the biblical narrative into this conversation, right? We need to so get in there. You don't have an answer. 
So you don't have I just told you. I just told you. I just told you that hey, we see the finish? abandonment. We see the abandonment of Avaris, right? That that is the actual archaeological. So you making it up? The actual. So you so you forcing something into the man, body? You can, you can sit. You can, talk, you can fall talk, back. Man. Can you like let the I, man talk? Okay. And, good, and, then, and then I want to show y'all that's condescending and patronizing are the same words because in the definition of condescending, right, let, let me show y'all my screen again. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Y'all let me let me know when y'all want to have a real conversation. Just share my screen. Let me know when y'all want to have a real ahead. conversation. No, no, it's good. I'm gonna order some food real quick. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get my. Yeah, we going off the top topic. I'm. We're not tripping off condescending. Your panties in a bunch. That's. We ain't tripping. Oh, but this was a good show. Now we messing it up. Anonymous, you still got the flow? Are you? Uh, you doing something else? Let me get my food real quick, man. All right, I'll while you're care. doing that, I'm just going to uh, uh, point to some things that we often talk about. So the expulsion here, again, and, and you know I like to go to the TLA, El Diara. I know you yes, said sir. you're going to beat up the TLA. I don't know why. It's just like the Blue Letter Bible for y'all, for instance. It's a text That's corpus. what I said. That's, that's yeah. your Bible. Yeah, it's so, all yeah, you, I mean, you can look at it like that, but everything in here ain't necessarily it's religious. It's written by Europeans. Okay, but everything in here ain't necessarily religious. So, right here, like, for no, instance. No, it's not religious at all. Yeah, yeah, we're looking at the Stella of Kamos, uh, Kamos II. If we mm -hmm. look at his time period, it, it's 17th Dynasty, about 1555. Now, this this is the first so-called expulsion and we have the text have carried them all away will leave nothing of avaris which will be empty when the asiatics perish now we mm -hmm. could go into the whole text it's just going to be a waste of time this is basically what we're looking for and so in this instance um this would qualify as an expulsion because they're being carried away or they're, 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 they didn't get up on their own impious and be like, you know what, let's get up and cut. And so this is, uh, we, so I want to just start talking directly to the time periods and the actual attestation so people won't be confused. Because at this time period, there's no Pa Ramses. And then my good brother said something about Nubians living in the forest. Uh, I have not heard much of that, but he probably could fill me in because he said he read some literature that I had not read. But 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 particularly you some good things I heard you say that we might want to look into Elder Yara was about the contingency of people who were left in the virus after this happened. That is a fact, and they were addressed at later time periods. But the problem we have is some are still under the uh the teachings that the hike soaks were a people. But the best way to understand who the hike soaks were would be that that is a term synonymous with something like I don't want to say all the way synonymous with, but you hear us say knee suit, or you hear us say some say per I I at a time period meant Pharaoh, but that's for the indigenous people in control of Egypt. No outsider would ever really want you know, they wouldn't want to call them a pharaoh they had to take that but if they had status in their land that person would be considered a hikakasu and so one thing that happened as a problem was when jose in in the dialogue or in, when josephus was messing with manito's work and we could go back and look at it too he formed the notion that these people were called the hikakasu and 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 i, and I could pull forth attestations to show that there were Nubian Hikakasu that were living in the land of Mija. So it just really meant that these was like foreign rulers. And so if we established that, like, if so in that sense, it would probably be like nine or 10 Hikakasu reigning over Aamu, who were Asiatics. Like you said, rightfully, mm -hmm. some of them did get left in the virus. But nevertheless, if we want to actually do the text, we got to realize that Pa Ramses ain't no place around here you know what i'm saying and so lining this up with the bible is going to again we're going to oh, run into okay, these yeah, let me tap in right there. go right ahead let me tap in yeah let me tap in that's a this is a great point i wanted to deal with this pyramides argument so and i, I want to ask you because i think you can at least be scholastically honest how familiar are you with the excavations of tell el Daba? not that familiar Okay, so at least we could be honest about that, right? I'm very familiar with this. And the actual foremost authority on this is Manfred Bittek. Once again, I'm not using him as the authoritative voice on saying these are the proto-Israelites, but we can address that as well, right? This is a huge conversation that we gotta have. 
So, but let's deal with the Pi Ramesses argument. He has actually changed this narrative in scholastic, in scholastic arguments now that Pi Ramesses is a Varus. And it's clear, right? We can even go to the point where we talk about how Pi Ramesses was built on top of a Varus and Quantir. If you look in these areas, this is the area off of the branch of the, uh, the Pelusic branch of the Nile, right? This, this was the huge waterway. This was, this was everything to this area. Even when you get into the area of Perunefer and the naval base there, right? This area is massive. So the point is, is Pyramuses has to be this area at this point, right? It is, and it is a combination of Avaris and Quantir. It's not just Avaris, it, right? You have Semites that populated this entire area because it is the Eye of Horus or the, 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 the gate to the two roads, right? Where you can come straight down and go straight down into Africa, like down through the east, or you can come over and come through the Sahara, right? That's what this represents. So this was, this was a melting pot of all cultures. Once again, this is why we see them coming out a mixed multitude. And let me answer the first question. The abandonment of Avaris, and I want to deal with the difference between a spoke, expulsion, abandonment, and exodus. Now we do simple semantic conversation. Not like To me, this is silly, right? We're dealing with synonyms. Abandonment and exodus are synonymous. So, you, so when we look at abandonment, the reason I say abandonment is because the archaeology you understand what I'm trying to show you? I'm talking about the archaeology. Pull up the, the words, please. Can you pull up the words? Let, him, let him finish, and then we'll let you go, Sabio. Oh, hold yourself down, brother. Yeah, be quiet down with the condescending. Be quiet, man. The archaeology, <laughs> the archaeology shows that this area was abandoned, right? And that's all I'm saying. And so if you want to say I'm trying to change it to abandon, no. I'm saying mm -hmm. that's your proof of the exodus. Mm -mm. The abandonment. And if you want to accuse me of shoehorning, now we deal with the biblical chronology. That's the other question I would have. Have any of you taken the time to have these arguments about the different chronological arguments of the Exodus? There are actually three major conversations. There's really five, but there are three major conversations. One could be in the time of the Hyksos, which would be around 1570. One would be in 1456 or 1446 is what I'm talking about or the Ramesseed Exes, right? These are all conversations that scholars are having. This is not a done deal. Now, right. is there a quote unquote uh, consensus? If you wanna say that, sure. But a consensus means it's shut up, it's closed and ain't nobody talking about it. They getting ready to have another Exodus conference, conference here in the next couple of years because there's so much archeological evidence that has now come out, right? So I, I, I can tell that the people on this, on this panel have not done the actual research. This is just, <sighs> No, uh, that's not true. Can, can, let me ask you, let me, but real quick, we're going to let Sabio go. Yeah, let's let Sabio get the floor, okay, and then I'll go. I wanted to do two things, all right? So if you can share my screen real quick, Smack, because I want to show people that the words that I use are you very share. apt. All right, so... Man, can we go straight to the argument, man? Yeah. So, 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 hold up. I want y'all to man. see the word patronizing. So, no, I want y'all to see the word patronizing. No, but you're messing it up, But hold on, you're messing it up, Sabio. But let Sabio go, but you're messing it up. I'm done. I'm done. Let Sabio go to get this over with real quick, because this is his point. I just wanted y'all to see. Hold up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, because y'all asked me to hug. Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to bring up the word abandonment, please. Oh, you never bring read the, the definition, bro. You never read the definition. That ain't cool. Of condescending? Oh, well. Because um, if you the, read the, the whole definition, you'll see what they're saying. The the definition of condescending? Uh, <laughs> it, it, has the, it has the word patronizing in there, right? Yeah, but patronizing what? Listen to what they say. Patronizing superiority. That's what I'm saying. So, so when you say somebody so, kind of so, look, feel so, me real so, quick. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold Patronizing up. just mean like you saying you helping them out, or you buddy buddy, you trying no, to be no, 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 condescending. No reason, mean you bro. think you above <laughs> them <laughs> by the nature of the the word Patronize, descend. Don't you hear descend in there? Think about it. Can mean, patronizing can mean the same. No, thing. but they said patronizing hey, superiority. Hey, smash. hey, smash! I don't you got see? a lot of time, bro. Can we get? Go, all right, go right, right here. Go right here. All right. So, so the next word I want to. The next he wanna, word. He's gonna pull up. He's word, gonna pull up the, abandonment and say that it doesn't mean exodus. All right. Cool. 
No, I yeah, really man. don't, I'm though, bro, but we're going to talk about that in a minute because here's the question for you. Don't you realize abandonment can take place over hundreds of years? Where yeah, that's Exodus a great is point. Supposed to, that's yeah, a Exodus great is point. supposed to take yeah, place at point. once. No, that's a great it point. doesn't. No, that, that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this, watch so this. So the man. Exodus didn't play, take place at once? Now, here, the, the argument is there, there <laughs> the is a, there's a very... Right. place at once. Bro, can, no, it didn't. We, no, I, 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 y'all actually interrupted me. And you took my because you're not talking about it. nothing. I will look, no, right. Sabio wind it down, it, down and then it's on. It's good. It's good. Sabio wind it up was. and then we on anonymous. It's good. Oh, Can I ask yeah, a question, yeah. man? Please read your definition, Sabio. Right after no, anonymous, we on more No, I'm not reading the definition because because okay. uh, uh, because because the man. conversation in our what you gonna do? This your floor time. You on the stage, so do it right. I'm about to. I'm about to. So so now Sabio get your jig on, man. Oh man. So yeah, now, so now that we didn't separate the words abandonment and exodus, and we know that the exodus was supposed to be a mass migration of people at one time, not uh -huh. over an uh, not over a period, an extended period of time. Stop making shit up. We're not that stupid. Okay, oh, can I respond? I'm now? Glad you, All right. I'm glad. So, yeah, yeah, anonymous, I'm glad you, you got the floor. What a fan, man. <laughs> appreciate it. Fan, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. So now there's there's multiple issues with this. Like I said, it's a complicated conversation. One, there is a narrative where the exodus took place over a long time, right? But I won't even play that game. And who says that? Uh, and, and, and who says there, that? There are multi there's multiple And you put that just down real quick. Just go on and put that down, oh, Anonymous. Because oh, oh, the Bible oh, don't oh, say that, so let's oh, let Anonymous oh, go back to our right, right, so, Go ahead. Right, so him, 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 my boy, <laughs> my guy, what is the problem? Man, let him go, let him go. It's good, it's good, it's good. Don't turn up, don't turn up, don't turn up. Yeah, hey, we okay, call that the hostility <laughs> escape. Look, don't call exactly. him no clowns or nothing. That's disrespect. We don't do disrespect, right, Savio. Hey, smash up the base, bro. I, I know. Right, we don't do disrespect, that. though, because hey, that, that, that ain't cool. Right, so then, let's look, let Anon get to me, the flow. To me, this is just a simple. Yeah, to me, this is so a now simple. He, so, now, so now he can rewrite the Bible. So the Bible no, says but you the got the floor, so let him have the floor. That's all we're saying. Right. So I'm not even going to talk about the scholars that say it because I don't lean to that model. I'm going to tell you that the abandonment that I'm talking about doesn't take place over a long period of time. The abandonment of Avaris is abrupt. It is out of nowhere. Are we talking That's what the archi... Stop and listen. You got two ears. Listen. Man, go, the man. Abandonment, the abandonment happens instantly. It is out of nowhere. They cannot explain why this area was abandoned after it was rustling and, 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 and pushing and popping the whole time, all of a sudden they just abandon it. That's what the archaeology shows. That's not what quick I question, say. Quick question. Quick question. Right? And, and, quick question. Yes, we need, exodus, which, right? which abandonment are you referring to out of right. all the ones we talked about? And then you can continue. I'm talking about the abandonment of 1446 Stop. of the Avaris area. <laughs> he made that shit. No, I'm lost. Oh, I, I did? Well, no, I, I made 46. it. 1446. Wait, wait, wait. I made it. Right? Oh, you, you know, the person I've had this conversation with about 14. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another person yeah, yeah, who posted 1446. His name is Nick G. Are you sure I made it up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Since you said I made it up. Now, what you do is go to Manfred B. Tech, capital of the Hyksos. And if you're smart enough to read a stratigraphy map, it'll show you what time period this abrupt abandonment happened. I dare you to go do it. Okay, that's right. I'm in the car. Uh, so, so anonymous, can I ask you a question? So, you, you just said that it happened abruptly, and they can't explain it, right? So, right. if they, if they can't explain it, how are you explaining? It? <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah, it's and another. Then, that's another. That's, that's another one. excellent question. That's a, that's another excellent. Let's question. hear the answer. The way I explain it, or the reason that I do it, is because I've read works by Dr. Scott Stripling, works by uh, Manfred B. Tech that talk about why, and even Douglas Petrovich as to why this area was abandoned. And they go into different explanations. And then the main right. reason I, I use, the main reason I say this happened is because not only do they abandon it, they abandon it and they sacrifice sheep, goats, and a bunch of other animals in the first year of their life. Once again, hey, give us showing three material. Reasons. Give us three. Once again, I just gave you three. What's that? <laughs> no, no, so that's good. No, no, that's good. Hey, that's good. Hey, man, this man, story hey, y'all got is all hey, out of hey, order. Hey, look, bro. Hey, Hold look. On. I love y'all, man. I would, hey, I, I would I love to have a conversation with you. It's all good, but the story out of order. 
You don't have to go <laughs> I would no love to have this conversation with you, Smash. Like y'all cats is out of control. Well, let us bro. respond bro, though, because of some no of the stuff you said. Oh, hopefully you can keep listening. Hopefully you can keep listening. You always welcome to come back. It's good. But listen, I'm gonna I'm I'm keep listening, bro. Okay, Just check this out. Look how y'all story keep hopping all over the place. This is what I'm saying. Because you said 1446, right? Real quick, let's just do. Oh yeah, Morpheus. No, yeah, no, Morpheus. You was about to go. I forgot. Go ahead, Morpheus. Well, I'm sorry. So listen, he's got to get out with. But my question is, is I always think I say so. If all scholars look at the same data, all do an analysis of the same exact data, shouldn't they all conclude the same exact thing? That is another great results? question. And the answer is to that is no. That's a great question. Right? Okay. No, I'm on the phone, son. Let me let me answer let me answer that. That's I, I love that question. Thank you for asking that question. The reason is, is because the Bible is involved, right? And that's the short and skinny of it. So, like I said, when you deal with B Tech, he'll tell you if, if you watch the documentary Patterns of Evidence, he says, We see all of the evidence for the Exodus. But I can't say that this is the Exodus because I don't believe it's in the right time period. They're arguing for the Ramesside Exodus because of the anachronistic words like Ramesses and Pithom and Ramesses. That's the that's the skinny of it, right? That's there's the a, there's old a, argument to the Exodus. Please and this is 1446, right? Please don't watch patterns of evidence. Please don't watch patterns of evidence. No one on it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that patterns of evidence. I don't think that patterns of evidence proves the Exodus. I'm just telling you what he said in the documentary. That's all. But who brought? Who brought back real quick, Morpheus? Who brought back the eighty thousand Canaanites? I want to say that's Amenhotep the second. I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was gonna say that. How did you know he was gonna say that? Because it happens. Because <laughs> no, actually, because there's a there's there's a pseudo, there's another pseudo named the G Hopkins no. who pushes the same narrative. Let that me ask you this. Is, 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 from is, is this a PhD scholar? No, he's is it, not a is scholar. No, is it written, no, is it written on the walls of Kemet? So so no. Is he, it written used, on the walls of Kemet? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. You sure? I don't know. Is it? Ask one of them. Uh, I'm not. Uh -oh. I'm not a comedic. Uh oh. I don't. I don't uh -oh. know. Like you, you out. You out uh -oh. your knowledge so, grade so, right so, now. So, 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 yeah. oh, you tell us where you find it at, yo. Why don't you tell us where uh -oh. it's at? Nah, I'll say that for these debates. Just how y'all nah, do it. Where is that, yo? We gonna say that for Garfield. Yeah. Say that for Garfield. But yeah, y'all yeah, asked me. Y'all asked so, me so, where so, I heard it from. So I told y'all where I heard it so, from. You heard it from nobody. That That's what your ass is. Another pseudo that pushes the same narrative that he's. You pushing. heard it from nobody. But cool, you have to study. Name Najee Hawkins. He hey, wrote now, a paradigm shift. Let's you don't talk to each other. On paradigm shift. I will say this. We don't care. We're talking about primary sources. Why Here's the funny thing. thing. These ain't no primary sources. I'm sorry, Morpheus. Go ahead, Morpheus. Yeah, I'm, Go ahead, I'm sorry, family. Now I'm listening to your argument, right? It's, 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 it's very. It's a, it's a solid argument. It's a solid right. argument. You can, you right. don't gotta so, like it, but it's solid. Right? No, no. I'm listening to it. I'm taking it in. I'm taking it in. So, uh, so my question now at this point, as I'm saying, is, would you consider that the argument is being based on circumstantial evidence? Because it's not direct it. evidence. It's, yeah, I did it first, but I would I would say now that it's a preponderance of evidence, right? And and once I do, once nah. I give y'all a, a presentation, then that's what I would say, right? Okay, when I first started studying I'm, it, I'm sorry. The reason why I asked the question because a lot of times in a lot of these conversations, people always present. Not saying you, but just people in general say I have evidence, blah blah blah. So the first thing that comes to my mind is what kind of evidence are we talking about? Because there's many kinds right. of evidence. Right. I mean, right. I mean, look, bad yeah. evidence is still evidence. <laughs> you That's, true. I agree. I, That's true. I agree. I just, I just think now we, I think now we got to be honest and say that there is some merit to my argument, right? And and here's my mm -hmm. only argument. I want to make this clear that those remaining Semites Facts. that stayed after the expulsion of the Hyksos. And if you want to say that the Hyksos never existed in that respect, I'm not going to argue with you, right? But whoever those foreign rulers was, whatever your name for those are, that got ran out, that got ran out and chased all the way up to Shah Ruhim, mm -hmm. those people left, right? Those people clearly left and then almost went up there and finished them off, went up there and laid them out, right? Which See, is what he was supposed to do. 
But that's when your arguments that remain, start falling apart, bro. That's no, what I'm saying. Hold on, here's where my argument makes sense. All right, Listen to me. All right, right? Good. Those those nomadic Israelites, as a matter of fact, can I can I just can I ramble? Can y'all give me the floor to just you got you got two on, minutes. Give him two minutes. Just give him two minutes, then we get brother Reggie. Brother Reggie respond so after understand. this if you give want to. Give me two minutes Man. so you can understand. Give me two minutes, right? You, so you this is minutes. the point that Yara, this is the point that Yara keeps trying to make to y'all. The Hekakasu were the first people, or these these foreign rulers from Syro Palestine are the first people that oppress the nomadic Semite. The nomadic Semite is what comes in during the Middle Kingdom, right? That would be the time of quote unquote Joseph. I'm not going to argue about whether he existed or not. That's a whole nother conversation, right? But that would be that time period where these nomads come in. But these Syro Palestinian Semites come in because they already have trade with Egypt. They've been heavily influenced by Egypt. They come in with an Egyptian type material culture and they began to run roughshod and become overlords over those nomadic Israelites. So after the expulsion of the Syro Palestinian Semite, those nomadic Semites still remain. And those are the actual people, the agriculturists, the people who are watching after the, 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 the sheep and the animals, those are the people who abandoned Avaris abruptly in 1446. And so that's why I say my argument is scholastically and archaeologically, we have that argument, right? And I'm actually writing the papers and talking to the scholars, since Garfield likes to play this, and you'll be able to see those interviews as well. Right? You're not the only person that can go talk to scholars. You're not the but only you person only that went to one college. Scholar. You only said one scholar. That's the guy. You I said, use okay, so, so I said B Tech. I said Scott Stripling. I can give you Bryant Woods. I mean, we could really start to have a conversation, right? But I don't want to give away all my sources until I go into these debates. Scott now, I'll Stripling, explain. pseudo ass. Scott oh. Stripling is a PhD. You don't even know what Scott Stripling does. You don't even know what Scott, Scott Stripling is, does. bro. Oh, what hold on, so do, the, can I respond what, to that? What Scott, no, 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 what does, but, what does Scott Scriptman do? Nah, so we running off, we running off on a tangent. That, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, that don't even really that. matter. And so mm -hmm. I'm just going to say you made up a lot of things there. The whole nomadic semi-oppression theory mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. made up. There's no textual evidence of that because the hike soaks wasn't writing nothing in that time period. And mm -hmm. so we, we always deal with the Egyptian text canon, and there's no record of saying the Hikakasu is oppressing the Aamu, and we need to... Uh, we, you know, that that's a thing. And so if you, I know you got a lot of scholarship, but inside that scholarship, maybe you could present a source on this nomadic, semitic, oppressed theory. Now we made a mistake earlier about Avaris and the location of Avaris and saying that that was Pi Ramses. Anybody could do a Google search and see that that ain't true. But what, what happens is, is when Pi Ramses was built to monitor hike soaks. So it was built close to it. You see what I'm saying? But we obviously got to have Ramses around in order to have a house of our pie Ramses. You know what I'm saying? So then we jump in, up into another time period that's very far away from the main expulsion that you keep oh, referencing. And now, if you talk about 1446, you're talking about hot chef soup. You know what I'm saying? But then you say this workforce had to be replaced. That was a workforce of uh, 680,000 that was brought in by Aminotep. We jump in yeah, all said. over. We skip in <laughs> hundreds of years when we do this. You know what I'm saying? And that's the that's why there's so many mm -hmm. holes in the argument. Yeah, John. Great, great, really great, 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 great point, Smash. Great point. Stay on that. Stay can I respond ahead. to that? Can I, can I respond to all nah, that? No, 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 no. Let Reggie go. Let Reggie go. Oh, nah, man. you've been okay, talking ahead, all day. No, it's ahead, really simple. So the more that we do this work on both sides, the more it moves away from the Bible narrative, right? And that's fine. And, Interesting. And, and, and Interesting. So, so yes. Yeah, so when we when and so this whole thing about Jacob and and ultimately. Uh, uh, to uh, getting into his uh, his 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 uh, pre uh, not predecessors, but his 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 heirs getting into Egypt and all of this stuff. Now the religiousness goes away. I don't I don't mind having these conversations, uh, but but you on the other side is the Hebrews. You know that the more that you actually do this work and you move it from the biblical narrative, right? You uh, how can if you have any faith, right? It's going to it's it's 
how can I say you can't have faith anymore in the book. You can have you can have a historical kind of faith, but the the but the book is is how can I say is 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 falling to ash, right? It's it's it the book is not because now the book is not reliable. And so while you're doing this work and you're finding these things, you are making your book, if that's what you follow, um, less and less reliable because now you have to look at the historical record and a biblical record doesn't do that for you. The So uh, this whole thing, so all this thing about replacing the workforce and back and forth, then you, you're losing uh, you're losing this Abraham stuff, you're losing the Jacob and the Joseph stuff. All of that now is lost. And so when we started this argument, this conversation earlier before you came on Anonymous, we were talking about eponymous ancestors. So now we know why eponymous ancestors exist because they serve as a placeholder to fuse lots of ideas, right? So we're getting to a point, and I like the point, where both sides are looking for history, but the ancient Egyptians luckily have, have a lot of the records. Outside of that, we have to look at the Hittite records and we have to look at some of the other types of records to find what you have to find. We don't have to find because we, you have to defend your faith or make sense of it. We don't have to on our side. We're good where we are. We're just saying to you is get your stuff, your stuff together. What's that song? Get your well, stuff well, let me, well, let me, well, let me say you this to get you. Get well, well, let me say what, this to you, Reggie, yeah, in, in response wrong. to that. Let me say this to you in response to that. I heard you say earlier in this whole eponymous conversation that no one in the Bible existed or can be proven. Well, that's incorrect because we do have uh, attestations of King Taharka, which we know was a real person actually being involved with King Hezekiah. We actually have King Jehu, right, of the Amorite dynasty. We do have primary source evidence for that. So now you must tell us who their ancestors were and who they claim that their ancestors were. They didn't just pop up out the ground. Mm -hmm. Where did they come from? Well, come on with it, word Can you respond no, 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 to no, 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 no. We just established on this panel that eponymous does not mean they neither existed nor didn't exist. And we can rock with that. For the but, sake of this conversation, it's, an, it's the name. But if you hold on, on, no, that's e hold this on. easy, Reggie. Let him finish. Go ahead, on, uh, Yara. Okay. If you if if you say no one in the Bible ever existed, but we have primary source evidence that they did, then who are these people claiming their ancestors to be, and who did these people come from? So nah, when you, when you mentioned uh, when you hit mentioned uh, Hezekiah and Taharka. And if mm -hmm. we put the same analysis that your question requires on both of them, we will find Taharka's lineage written in ancient Egyptian texts, his predecessors, his tombs, mm -hmm. his statues, and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, if we put the same scrutiny to Hezekiah, we're going to fall short. I think he in the, is he in the lineage of David? Yes, he is in. He would be in the lineage of David. Yeah, so we're gonna fall short when we start going back to see his predecessors. You see what I mean? And so, but, yeah, won, but, I, but we have to. But we do know, Jonathan. He had to have ancestors. That's who had were to they? Have is the question. Eponymous. He definitely oh, no, did. Have, you keep no. saying. You keep, hold on. You keep no. saying. No, you keep saying eponymous. But Hezekiah gives us. The name of his so ancestors. so you I, I agree with you on that, Yara. But here's the thing is when, when we establish that when you get to a point that the ancestors could be real or not real in the in the nature of that word eponymous. Of course they had ancestors, but we talking about the forefathers who are the made up characters. You see what I mean? And so well, no, yeah. you can't make, but that's an absolute you can't make. Yeah, you because can't if, he, if they're no, saying- No, absolutely, all of the no, forefathers no, aren't real. Name a forefather Jonathan, who's real. Jonathan, if what? they're saying- It's shit real. If you have a real person, Right, whether it's about oral tradition, which we see many times occurring right today in Africa, in many that African tribes. Hold on, real. let him finish. Hold on, on. hold on. If if they're saying by their oral tradition that this is who their ancestors are, how do you make an absolute to say that they're not? Hold on, let me continue. Right, let's go with King Jehu in the Amorite dynasty. Right, 
We have many attestations, extra biblical sources, and other cultures. The Syrian cultures said that they deal with these Asiatic people. Right? But they're not the forefathers, they're, they're, man. They, listen, man, son. Would y'all be quiet? Listen, man, son. We, what we're saying is, is that they had, they didn't it's just dialogue, man. Out the air. He had to have a mother. His mother had to have a mother. His mother had to have a mother. And their mother had to have a mother. Now, why do we get off when it comes to this Asiatic narrative that we can simply dismiss their oral tradition? No, nah, we're not we disagreeing. Same, we hold even, on. Man. When we come we, to oral, when we come, hold on, but when we come mm -hmm. to the oral traditions of Africans where they had virtually no writings, we still hold on to their oral traditions. You know why? Because you guys have a confirmation bias. No, nah, that's not Stick true. What topic, happens man. is no. when we go in the oral tradition, there's no proof that people are who they say they were. That's all it is. But and you so can't when, say when, they didn't exist. That's the no, point. I mean, you, you, it, 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 some yeah, some right. could that question it. In those oral so, so let's look. Let's right. look at this. Let's go back to Taharka. Can't make absolutes. All of his, he told you he came from Pianchi and all of them people. We see they they writings and they attestations, so we would be harder pressed to say he post, was lying. You're moving the goalpost, John. No, I'm still you dealing cannot, with Taharka. You cannot listen, you cannot make an absolute and say that these people, ancestors, and their old traditions are not real. No, it's you not absolute. But you we're saying the probability, absolute, look, you the probability comes in more when you don't have archaeology. That's all no, I'm it's saying. All it, all, it is, all, yeah. it, all it is is you of saying, I, this is what I, that's what you believe. Yes. So you're in the same, so you're in the same, hold on. Evidence for absence. Right, yeah. exactly. Oh, now, no, no, so no, you no, guys no, are in the same, are you, hold on. Do you have archaeology? So let's go one at a time. Let's let Elder finish so that the yeah, next person same, can chime you're in. You're in the same boat. You're in the same boat with the rest of us, according to your stance, if you say it's simply a belief. Because without absolution, all you have is belief. Right? Is that this guy's argument? No, nah, that, I mean, that don't really work, though, So is bro. that what so, so it it Let's, how let's, let's deal with no what we started with. We, all right, and, let, and, and we then we're going to let Mr. Rich go. I want to hear from Mr. Rich, but let's just deal with this. Just to lay out the argument. that I can on this panel. Okay, let's lay out the argument. You started with Taharka and uh, Hezekiah as the people that we could know that is real in the Bible. And so I just laid out parameters. I laid out parameters for us to know how their ancestors would be real. And I said, okay, when we look at Taharka, we're going to look to see if what, what, what archaeology we got on his ancestors. And it's actually there. Stories, everything. Uh, in, in the stone, I mean. And, and, and we fall short of that when we start doing that with the lineage of, of Hezekiah. You see what I'm saying? And so it's, that's no, not I even. I don't see what you're saying at all. Because uh, that who they, else? Because There's they more than one us, person on the panel. Hold on, not 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 absolutely not. And see, this is where your argument is fallacious, right? Because when we talk about Hezekiah, we have we have recordation that Taharka, who you just said is a real person, is dealing with Hezekiah, king of Judah, right? Hezekiah is so, a real person. We talking about their hold ancestors. On, hold on, hold on. So if you say Hezekiah is a real person, because we can see him in history, Jonathan Owens, walk with me, sir. If you say he's a real person because he dealt with a real person that you believe is a real person, but he dealt with Hezekiah was a real person. So who else was Hezekiah dealing with? Who was his parents? Who was his parents' parents? And who was his parents' parents' parents? Great See, job. See we, you, you established Without that. And you, you did a good saying, job at establishing that. But no, we no, already we saying, posed the question what, back to you. Remember, okay. you established that, and you didn't answer the question we posed back to you. We said that his parents don't got to be who he say they were. But if right. you got archaeology that show it on the on Taharka side that he uh -huh. say Pianchi is he related to Pianchi and his lineage mm -hmm. show that in stone, then we have a difference. That's all we say, and that's what a word epistemal ancestor comes in. Can I add something to that, please? Can I please add something to what Yara is saying? I'm gonna add no, on not until one. you, not until you dress okay. anonymous Hebrew, because because he's actually, <laughs> actually Garfield. Why they play with you like that, man? <laughs> not until you dress anonymous Hebrew, Garfield. What what am I? Hold on, there. What am I addressing? With? And by the way, this is not your channel or your show. Or what would hey, you don't like? get tested? Don't, don't get tested man. with me, sir. What, what, what would you like me to address, Yara? I'll do. I'll oblige to you, sir. 
What would you like? <laughs> Thank you, crushing Garfield. Come on, do it how you normally do. Come on. What you All want, right, cool. Yara? Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. We know that the Israelites are real people. Don't play the eponymous ancestor game. This is actually in my book, in Amen. chapter one. But watch this Man, now. Watch, I was this. Saving it. watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. So now Israelites come from Israel, right? Where do Romans come from? Their name comes from Romulus. Romulus is not real. What about yeah. the Persians? They Israelites don't come from Israel. So hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on. Why, why, uh, come on. I'm the interrupter. I'm the original interrupter. Don't play me to me. Come on now. All right. <laughs> All right. You got that. You got so, that. So, 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 so the Persians come from Perseus. You're proud. You're proud about being an interrupter. They trying to throw you off track. Stay on track. You making hey, yo, a good hey, point, Garfield. Garfield. Stay on track, bro. Yeah, they trying to throw you off. You know what I mean? Hey, repeat that, Garfield. You know, you know what's funny, right? The Romans yeah. came. Yeah, it don't Romans, feel good when somebody right? do it to you. Right. Hey, man, chill out, man. Jeez. The, Ro the Romans come from Rome, right? They come from Romulus. Romulus is not a real guy. If you look at what the Greek, the, look at the Hellenistic Greeks. They come from Helen. Helen is not real. All the all the writers used was a literary device to trace back their roots to a certain area or people. And that's all they did. So I'm Israel is a creation. Let my Israel. man finish, yo. Let and, by, him finish. And, by, and by the way, to, um, anonymous Hebrew on Sarnetta admitted the other day when I talked about why don't we do a patriarch debate, he said that they are eponymous ancestors. But the, the point is, I don't have a problem with them being eponymous ancestors being real or fake. I, I mean, that's not the issue. Is that the people are using them as a literary device to prove a point, just to basically saying, hey, worship Yahweh. That's the goal of the Torah. The goal is not to say 4,000 years later, this is us. So this whole thing about being Israel today is just a big identity theft that they are trying to perpetrate on the people. So that's well, you all have it is. To prove that no, no hold on, you hold on, Yara, yourself, Yara, Yara, Hold on, Yara, that's no Yara, different Yara, than you Yara, calling Yara, yourself... Yara. Then Yara, you calling yourself Yara, a maroon? Yara, hey, Yara, Yara, chill Yara, out, man. Yara, chill out, Hey, bro. Mr. Rich, you don't Yara, know me like chill that. Out. Yara, chill we out. We all good. 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 I'm going to try to bring some calm to the situation. You call yourself a Jamaican, Garfield. All right, let's get back to Garfield. All right, real quick. We look at the Everybody relax. Everybody relax. He was born in Jamaica. He was born in Jamaica, yo. They say if you throw a story. He still an identity. That was the identity from him. They say if you throw a stone in Let's get it back. Let's get it back. They say if you throw a stone in a pig's pen, the one that squeal got hit, right? So the you point know? is, the point is, hold on. He said, I like, when I left earlier, right? I said, show me the eighty thousand, right? They still can't show it, and what they're doing is misusing Manfred Betak. So what I'm gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna put my thoughts on pause, and what I'm gonna do is invite both of them to when I interview Manfred Betak to be on the panel, and I want him to repeat the same thing they're saying about his work because he yeah, does not agree. With the works that they're saying, I'm out. Peace. Okay, now can I respond? Yeah, bet. Hey, I'm gonna hold you to that. Yeah, I don't have no problem with that. I'm gonna hold you to that. Hey, look, yeah, and 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 you can do that, and you'll actually end up seeing me probably interviewing myself. And here's why. I got you. Because once again, you. because once again, B Tech's work, like I told you, I use B Tech's work for the archaeology. I don't use B Tech's work to say that he talking about the proto Israelites. This has been my so he argument agree the with entire you. time. So he doesn't, he doesn't agree with yeah, you at that point. Right. And, and and I told you why he doesn't agree. Now, Mr. Rich, why? why did I tell you? Why did I tell you that he doesn't agree? Now remind me. We're gonna thank you, sir. Thank you for letting me know that you didn't give a damn enough about what I was saying. I just didn't remind me, man. I just didn't remind <laughs> you. I knew it was bullshit. I knew it was bullshit. Oh, so okay. Know, you know, so man. this this is what he said. This is literally what he says verbatim out of his mouth. He says that he can't call this the exodus. Because it's in the wrong time period. And like I told y'all, this is the argument in scholarship. Right. Right. Well, the that's what I've been saying dating, the whole time. The actual, the actual dating of the Exodus. So now let's get back to your point. Have you done enough conversation and study on this conversation to know when the actual biblical chronological arguments are for the dating so, of the Exodus? So how did you get the real time of the Exodus? How did you get it? By 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 lining up the biblical narrative and then actually using archaeology, anthropology, and sociology to date the things that they are saying. So, for instance, Garfield said this, we know that the Israelites are real people. So we walk all the way backwards to the first time we know we can prove it, and that takes us to first century A.D., right? So we start first in first century, century A.D., 
And then we start to walk our way backwards, right? So we walk our way backwards. We keep walking backwards, like Yara said. Then we get to the time period of Hezekiah. Then we get to the time period of all of these different people. And then when we get to a certain point in time, now that's where we got to start to use the archaeology because the later you go in antiquity, pretty much the only people you're going to get a whole bunch of records from are the Egyptians and the Assyrians in this area. And so what we do then is use their records, and then we look at all the things that we see happening in the Jordan Valley. But we also have to use the biblical narrative, at least for the outline. So, for instance, the biblical narrative says 480 years before, before the building of Solomon's temple, that's when the Exodus happened. That would place that in 1446. So according to the biblical narrative, the Exodus happened in 1446 because there is a consensus of scholars Unless you're dealing with the scholars who say Solomon's temple never existed. That's fine. We can have that argument in that conversation, too. But even Israel Finkelstein would say if it if it did exist, this would be somewhere in that time time period. Right. And, and so 1446. Go ahead. No, 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 right? no. Israel, no, I'm talking about I'm talking about um, Solomon's temple existing. Right. So Solomon's 400 temple years, existed 400 around, years before that, you saying 480 years before that, the okay. Bible says that's when the Exodus happened. And okay. so that's how I'm not just shoehorning. Right. I'm actually taking the biblical narrative and then we're looking at archaeological, anthropological, anthropological and sociological evidence to make this argument. You don't but have you gotta to pick like one it. real quick, bro. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. because it, sociological. Okay, just, just how you said the source said that it, it, it ain't fitting in the time period. All I'm seeing is we hopping over time periods to different uh, so-called exodus. Oh, yeah. Let me, let, all right. So let me give you this. So this is Pyramuses. All right. I'm, I'm going to read this for you. This is Manfred B. Tech. This, you can y'all can you can Google this. But right you know, you now, just right? did it again. Right. Mm -hmm. What did I do? Because you just Tell jumped what from I did. 1446 to Pyramuses. You don't understand the argument. Right, right. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to explain I definitely understand this it. I understand no, it more than y'all. 1446 is... Look, let me, let me show you how much I understand it more than y'all. Right. 1446 yeah. is Hot Shep suit. Hot Shep yeah. had some Asiatics kicked out. So that don't work gotcha. for a, a, a Exodus. If they got kicked so, right, out, so let's, that's let's an expulsion. All right. And so I wanted to come back, I wanted to come back and, and, and address this argument. First off, depending upon high chronology, middle chronology, low chronology, Hatshepsut could be before or after, right? So in my chronology, Hatshepsut is before, right? Because by the time had by the time the most the third comes in, Hatshepsut reign is over. Real right? quick, real quick, because so, you said in my oh, chronology, yeah. just real quick, does right. that mean you in, move in the, in the no, to a different no, time period? No, no, that means he's I'm rewriting right. history right now. What do you mean by in my so chronology? Let's, let's, just real quick, what do you mean I'm by in? In your chronology. And stay right there. And stay right there. I'm I'm talking about dealing with the high the high chronology dating of the of the Egyptian chronology is what I'm talking about. So right? okay, so, so in your chronology under, is Hot at 1446? Right is 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 Hot no, at 1446? In, in, in the in the high chronology, Hat Shepsu's reign ends around fourteen seventy, somewhere in that. So the high period. chronology, whatever that is, moves Hot Shepsu's reign, correct? He, okay, so let, let's have no, no, let's have a question. No, let's whoa, 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 all Egyptologists will tell you that Egypt either has a high, middle, or low chronology. You can study Kenneth Kitchen. You can study all of these different uh, Egyptologists, right? And so it depends on if you're dealing with a high chronology, low chronology, or middle chronology. And it doesn't change who the pharaoh is. It just changed the dating. And, they're, and they differ with around 25 years. That's the only difference. 25 you got to go... You got to go study this, right? So there's a difference. Nah, in, bro, about we studied that. Years. You just said all Egyptologists. <laughs> okay, okay, well, hold on. Hold you on, just Jonathan, made okay, something so completely up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jonathan, you just, so Jonathan. Hold on, let's stay so right here. So what Jonathan, let, Jonathan, let, let him finish. Let him, let him finish because he's burying himself. Let him finish. Let's have some fun. Grab your shovel. So, so, Mr. Owens, Mr. Owens, Mr. Owens, is there is there attestations of a high, middle, and low chronology amongst Egyptologists? No, not in mainstream academia. Maybe in fringe Egyptology. Okay. I know what you're okay, talking bet. about. Okay, I'm gonna, let so me let me ask so David Raw has one. Um, I don't deal with David Raw, but he does have one. Correct? He, Are we yeah, correct? Yeah, because he's all. Yeah, because he's all. Yeah, about and so this years. is fringe Ain't Egyptology. No Four hundred years. All right, but go okay, ahead. Okay, so what? Bet so then. So then, what time period would you say that has Shetsu brain? 
so I can deal with your time period. Yes, yeah, so, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the academic. She, uh, the of academic course, she's one. 18 Dynasty. I'm so talking about put, an actual dating. I'm gonna deal well, with the academic dating, one. Hold on, hold on, Asar. Hold on, Asar. Hold on. Okay, I know what you're okay. gonna say. We've already you know done what this. I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, you know, and you know, we so get this. You I said no 1446, right? Family, he said 1446. Right. He said that's around. That's around how Shep Sue maybe a little so bit then. before. So wait, now, wait, hold on. So that now. could be after her or whatever. A little bit earlier than that's her, but she's, after her. She's somewhere around there. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine, but but that's right. What is she at? What is she at? So it's so it's the most the third. What is at she Texas, at? She at about she is she in the fourteen hundreds? Yeah, she's in the somebody pull it up. Yes, she's but, in the fourteen hundreds. Okay, and, uh, so she uh, who's right after now. her? Top most the third. Yeah, so she's the so she's the most the third. And so that's so, what I'm but telling. hold on real You're quick. See, hold on, so listen, you just messed up see. your analogy. Listen, See, for real. Let me just explain, and you got the floor. Yeah. Look what you just that did. Jonathan Owens talk because he finna talk himself. This too easy. Thank you. No, yeah, I don't even got a lot to say. Look at what you just you did. Hot Shep. Look at this. Hot Shep suit is the one that we got the attestation to expelling mm -hmm. the hike soaks, and she ended at fourteen fifty eight. See, you said so, you said that Hot Shep you you said Hot Shep you expelled the Hicksos. She got no. She got an attestation of kicking out some Canaanites. Did she? But did she kick out the Hicksos? That's no, what you no. Said. Foreign you just rulers. Yeah, I just. You just no, said you said it twice, and you said it twice. Did well, they, what they, what, they what does that out? mean? What, 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 she what foreign had... rulers? What you foreign know what it rulers? means? What foreign rulers? No, what foreign I'm rulers asking. What does your question mean to you? No, what foreign, also, what foreign well, rulers? Well, okay, let's 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 stop. Let's pause for a moment because she didn't kick out no foreign rulers. She actually kicked out some Aamu. Some Aamu. But but no, but you are making the mistake because you said this was an expulsion that you were referring to. Remember, I didn't say it was an expulsion. I didn't Hold say it was on. an expulsion. Yeah, she well, you did. said it was an exodus, which is worse. Hold no, on. Did not. It, well, oh, he look. didn't say that, but that's what it was. Thank see? you, John. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Lying. He so said it was an exodus, right? Hold Remember? Got Hold on, y'all. Y'all trying to scurry it up, and I'm trying to keep track. Look, you no, said it was an exodus, you, right? Right, real quick, right. so we can get. But but, but hey, we doing hey, a cool back. This talking. Yeah, this a cool back and forth. That's what we're trying to tell you. Yeah, he said it was an expulsion at 1446. We just realized that. Hot... Stop saying Brother, expulsion. Let him finish real quick. Didn't what did you say in? then? Well, I'm sorry. He's corrected me. Exodus. Okay, thank you. He said it was the Exodus at 1446. The right. expulsion he's trying to refer to is happened during the time period of Hot Shep Soup, which does expulsion. not extend. To, but 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 that's the problem because there's no Exodus. But what happened with the text they're trying to refer to is when Hot Shep Soup got rid of some Canaanites. You see what I'm saying? But she don't fall within the time period that he needs her to. So he's referring to some extra chronologies like, oh, well, if you use the high chronology, she going <laughs> to fall around this time period. So if, if if I'm wrong, then you'll be able to bring out an expulsion at 1446 that wasn't related to Hot Shep Soup. And I surrender the floor. Yeah, no doubt. So and I have already. But like, keep I, like, well, where's that at? Where's that at? Do it right now. Do it right now. I told you, like I told you, it is in the works of Manfred B. It is, oh, it is in the excavation. It is an no, that's not how we Bro, do listen, that. Listen, nah, listen. That's, not, that's not how we do it. That's not how we do it. I'm telling you. I'm you telling can't say it's you. in the works of. That's just scatter face. That's like 500 pages. What page? Really? Got you. No doubt. Yeah, that's how yeah, we source yeah, up. Yeah, that's exactly how we source up. I show y'all the temple walls. Remember when I just pulled up? Hold on. Wait, real quick, real quick. I just pulled up. I just pulled up. Hold on, real quick. I, everybody can unmute themselves when they want to. I just pulled up Camo Stella. Anybody can unmute themselves right now. I just pressed it to get some order. I just pulled up Camo Stella. That's a Stella. We read on the Stella the exact line of the Stella. I just asked you what page in the book, and you act like that ain't scholarship. Maybe y'all can't unmute yourself, so I'm about to ask y'all to unmute uh, right now. Oh, okay, yeah, y'all can unmute yourselves. I just did that to get us back in order. You feel what I'm saying, though? It's nothing wrong with saying what page in the book. So if you say in the work of man for B Tech, you can prove that hot shop suit need to be moved over like 20, 10 years in order to make your theory work, then that's cool. But uh, I don't even want to take the floor for so long.
No, you're right. Like, because if that, you look yeah. at the actual timetable, it's Hatshepsut is 18th century. The only time where 240,000 people leave out is during the Hikakas suit time frame, which is going to put you around between the 12th and the 15th <laughs> dynasty. So there's an issue with the Bible chronology and actual exodus taking place. Every scholar on the matter has this issue. So they don't say that the biblical narrative took place. They say a gradual exodus over time took place. Make your chronology fit, Brother Anonymous. Go ahead. That's it. That's Israel <laughs> doctrine in the building. Old school right, Israel right, doctrine. Right, he gonna show, he done showed done up done for done the showdown done. with the Magi. I hope all is well with you. Why? What's, What's up, Israel? I see a couple runners in here, but how y'all doing? What's up to What's the up, Israel? You said you uh, wanted it. Ain't I'm, nobody I'm ever. I know you, nobody baby. ever ran from Israel doctrine, bro. No, it's Israel said he wanted to I know I haven't. I ran him off my channel numerous times. Yeah, we, we done punished you before. You can get it again, my brother. It's all good. Hey, Israel Doctor, uh, this is Sar. You know who it is. No, you know man, it Asar. is. Asar, Asar ran. He ran oh, from Israel, Israel Doctor. You don't get out of here, no, man. I ran up Nobody on you and took your chain, chain remember? Right. I'm still wearing your chain from the last whooping. But hey, I'll do brother, it again. You said a date at a time and you didn't show up. What that say? I smell, I smell yeah. the chain. <laughs> hey, hey, Asar. See, only right. one get to be, only you know, Israel I get to beat Asar up is now by the Hebrew. That's it. Israel doctor, you ain't got a snowball chance of hell. What, what you beat him up about? <laughs> now Valley, what you beat him up about? Shut up. By word, you a by word, brother. Man, you sound like a weirdo, man. You, you a bad old. You Hold a on, what we doing? Though. What we doing? What we doing? This sound like the we in the uh, high school bathroom, real quick. Let's go. What, what's all you brought? I, I some you, you got some knowledge or some information, like, Israel? Or are you trying like to beef that. real quick? Israel, no, trying to beef. It's just when the it's king dangerous. step in the room, that's what they do. The by words start talking. The now yeah. about the people, the comedic people, they. They mad at the king for what? I don't Get know. Out of here, oh, you Get ain't out trying to bring no information, bro. Man, Come on. You welcome to. You welcome to, though. But we ain't that, trying to man. do the. We ain't hey, trying smash. to do the gossip channel. You, we could. We could start another stream. We doing information. Hey, hey, smash. If you want to host a debate, me and Israel Doctrine can get it on here on a different day. Let me know. We ready to go. We can What's the topic, Israel? Debate. What's the topic, y'all? He. He went to my old channel, and I, you know, I'm telling them. How <laughs> he he did. Hold up, kid. I'm still talking. I told them the methods that you would become an, Is uh, an Israelite and the difference between an Israelite and a Gentile. He went and changed his argument just the other day after, after I said you want to get it. He was a, no, I'm an Israelite by, conver by conversion. So you're you're a convert Stop Israelite, lying, man. Stop that's what looking. you put. You that's what you put. Where's my, the evidence? My, what did I say it is? Let me pull up so, my YouTube where you put the document. I'm gonna give you a chance to edit it. Video and show it. Here, all I'm we gotta do is hit, all we gotta do is hit share screen and go to a Sarm Car YouTube. You right share there. Let me pull up. Let me go to YouTube. All right, go I don't know what it's about to go. So, do y'all want to debate each other? I mean, we could set you, something up, but. It's every time you thing. say debate, people start running. People talk a lot of noise till you say debate. Then they start making excuses. Have I made one? I'm ready. Yeah. To you made one on Solar Vision Debate League when I brother, was going to for the second time after I came on your channel. They didn't time, brother. They didn't time. Stop running All you. Right. So you I'm going to do it today. Yes, sir, I got a question, question real quick. Yeah, who got the question? Uh, what Garfield was talking about earlier? Did he say something about uh, uh Josephus has something to do with the Exodus? Um, no, I, I don't remember, recall him saying that. I said some stuff no. about Josephus that he was messing with the work of Manetho and and gave out a story that uh the people that Manetho said was lepers and Avaris was actually related to uh the Hebrews. That's what Josephus did. Okay, because there's this theme, you know what I mean? That uh, it's a lot of 
historical concepts and, and items that that come from Egypt that seem to be you know strangely found in the uh, Hebrew text there is an account of um, people moving south uh 240,000 strong you know what I'm saying and they recently found some work to substantiate that you feel me but um I don't think that works in the favor of the Hebrews at all though I mean, I don't hey, see hey, nothing wrong with feedback real quick, bro. Yeah, yeah I, 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 it's all good. I don't see nothing wrong with espousing a tradition that I mean, everything ain't got to be real. It's the people that be saying everything is real that mess that up. Like you know, and, and uh, even the people who are in the comedicism or whatever, they don't uh, they understand that a lot of those stories ain't supposed to be taken literally. So it's the literalist. Uh, who attempts to be the fundamentalist trying to be like they on the more pious level. They closer to God because they look at this stuff the same way. They actually messing it up, if you ask me. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, the way I look at it, you know, they could the numbers could be wrong, the time, the time could be wrong, but um if they find it in different accounts, you know, that's grounds for um uh for a certain degree of veracity, you know what I'm saying? But... Kicking hike soaks or kicking the Aamu or even foreign rulers and the people they ruled over out of Egypt is a thing that occurred various times, as Anonymous pointed out. But pinpointing it and calling calling one an exodus is harder because that means they didn't get kicked out. They just got up and said, you know what? Let's cut. Right. Led by some dude right. named Moses. Yeah. So, so just a quick question, because um, I got I got a dip in a second, and I, I kind of want this all on record. Um, so when I do, when I do do my presentation, uh, we'll we'll deal with all the scholarship on it. Um, and like at least my brother Asar tell you, you may not agree with it, but there's is way deeper than what y'all trying to make. So question is this though, I want you on record saying this, Smash. So you're you're saying, um, high Ramesses is never connected with Avaris or Quantir. You're saying that's a no, right? Oh, you said our Quantir, so you just messed it up. Quantir ain't Avaris, I, it's like a, a mile I or said, two away. I said, I, I've been said, I've been said Avaris and Quantir the whole time, I guess. And, but listen. those are so two different think, locations. They're right, they're, they're right next to each other, brother. Yeah, so but you know how I'm they became the like Asiatics, that? Hear me, hear me out, hear me out. I, I'm not asking you to teach me now. Right now, I want you on record saying these things, right? But then, so this is a simple then you, question. Then you simple already question. asked the Just question. Just let me get my simple question, answer bro. Go I, ahead. I, I stood, I stood here, I stood here and asked. I stood Go here ahead. and asked ask the all the question. questions. Now y'all don't want to. So I got a few quick, quick questions because I want you on record saying. It. So you're saying there's no way that uh, Avaris and Quantir, any of that are are connected to Pyramuses, correct? Uh, that's not what I said. Now allow me to answer. What I said was Pyramuses got built next to Avaris in order to watch Hikakasu and the Aamu. That's okay. that, and okay. people could rewind that statement. Now after they built it and later in the time it enveloped it. It became it was no longer Avaris. They didn't have that problem no more. It was just Pi Ramses. But that's over gotcha. time. And but but again but they're, they're, but they're they, in the same area though, right? They yeah, yeah, because what they had they said that Pi Ramses was built to monitor the hike soak. So he put gotcha. it not in a land, but like a couple miles away or, or something close to that. Gotcha. People so can look at that So they say basically up. like one or two miles away, right? Yeah. So I appreciate you for being honest because there's another quote unquote scholar that says that Pi Ramesses is completely on the other side away from Avaris, right? So mm -hmm. now uh, the, the next question that I have, because I, I do want you on record saying this, you're saying that there is, I made it up when I said that the Syro-Palestinian um, Semite ruled as an overlord over the nomadic Israelite. You're saying that that's wrong as well, right? Um, yeah, because when we go Cause into did, the ancient... You say that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. And okay. when we go into ancient Egyptian texts, we learned that they had a different term for the Syro-Palestinian, and I'll give you that term, a, a different turn for the serial palestinian uh leaders then they would just call they wouldn't just call them hikakasuk for instance what would they, they would call them chiefs of the retinue and chief if you of the retinue up, exactly yeah, if, and i said yeah, this, if, i said this yesterday when we spoke 
I said yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And right? so, so that it kind of pinpoints right? them to be these people of the uh, the beach of right. Syria or what they call the Levant, basically, right. as right. as some retinue chiefs of the retinue. Heck, right. it's like right. a car retinue or something, or maybe something right. else. So we'll look it up. and so, what what I'm saying is, those chiefs of the retinue, they reigned as overlords over those nomadic Amu. Right. And that's what the archaeology shows. And I'll show that. I'll show that in my presentation. I don't got no problem with it. Um, you know, I'm used to people talking crazy. And then when no, that's not in, that's not a, a point of contention, because chiefs always rule over somebody when they talk right, about but the chief. But you're saying but you're saying, though, that they didn't rule over these. I'm talking about specifically. I'm going to prove in this time period based upon oh. the archaeological evidence in the time period that I'm talking about, based on the archaeological evidence, mm -hmm. that those nomadic Israelites or those nomadic Semites, who I'm calling the proto-Israelites, that they were ruled over by the chiefs of the retinue. Okay, right? they That's came good. in. They came in and ruled over. Right now, so, and then the, the final, then the final point is, you're saying that there is no, there is no way that there is a massive abandonment of a virus around 1446. That's what you're saying, right? Mm, I didn't say there was no way. I don't really try to speak in absolutes, but to speak towards what you just were saying right there real quick. Well, 1446, like I detailed it earlier, the closest textual um, kick out uh, that we get from there is going to be from um, Hot Shep Suit. Now, if you want to go to Tutmost the third, who's going to be, ain't, ain't he after her? See, yeah, this is what get problematic because y'all because in your argument, uh, we have a workforce. So then we go to Amenhotep the third. What is he gonna be in like the fifteen hundreds, right? Amenhotep the second. He gonna let's go look. So I'm just trying to detail this and allow me to. So I'm gonna okay, just so look let, up Amenhotep. Let me let me just point this out. Let me point this out real quick, right? Mm -hmm. And I and I think I hope you're gonna be scholastically honest when I say this or whatever. You would agree that. No scholars are going to hold each other to specific years when we talk about the difference of 10 or 15 years in antiquity. We agree with oh, that. Oh, no, right? yeah, that's so not. If I no, say 14, yeah. yeah. Well, so that's so not the big hold, 14, when, I'll well, let you finish you then. Me, I'll, let me answer. Yeah, because when I, so when I say 1446, and then if you're going to say, oh, you blew off your whole timeline because this would have been 1425 or something like that, like that's bad scholarship. And, and the reason I say that is because. Everybody in, in true scholars in academia know we're we're going roundabout dates. So if you want me to give you a roundabout date, then I'll say somewhere in the mid 14th century, right? Somewhere in that mid 14th century. But if you want me to give an exact date, then now and I can go into why I have these exact datings, right? And based upon rainal years and all of the things we see in the writing, right? That's what it that's what it would come down to. But uh, my point is, we're somewhere around the mid 14th century when this happens and that's okay, that's argument. cool and that's cool right. and you would have uh to you even if you whatever map you use you're gonna be dealing with hot shep suit or tupmost the third but what right. we're it's, saying it's is really tupmost the third is really tupmost the third or i'm the hotel the second but go ahead so it still becomes problematic because it just kind of, it just don't make no i mean i don't want to say it don't make no sense but since we hopping all over the place uh, the overall theory that some workforce was kicked out and then replaced and all, it, 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 it ain't lining up with the text and it's particularly uh, or let's just deal with it uh, like we were saying when you, when you say it ain't lining up to the text what do you mean what text well the, the, the 14 well the text from Hot Shepsuit where she dealt with some Canaanites is one occurrence gotcha. that we can okay. say we okay, or okay. the one from Kamos right. where he dealt with some Canaanites right. and that the, and goes back all, earlier period in time those yeah exactly you see what I'm saying so, so so but then let's get let me get into this let me let me stop playing around here now because I didn't play with my food enough um real quick during the reign of Amenhotep the second is there a rapid immediate abandonment of a virus out of nowhere that's a yes or no or you don't know um, um if that's a yes or no it'll be a no so whoa mm -hmm. so you're saying you're saying no there is no massive rapid abandonment of the avaris area during the time of, of the most of third or I, i'll give you well, that, the there could be or one or but i don't know of it so if you got one to pull out okay, so, right. i'm willing to address gotcha. it yeah bet bet and so now i mean i'm gonna do a presentation on it Right. I, so I, I just wanted to I wanted to have all of this 
on record. But I'm just saying, right? like, why not just say right now and, and crush me? You see? Why not just say actually? Because I want because because I want to do because well actually there is one and it's and we could say that it happened pretty much around the time of Amenhotep the second or Thutmose the third and archaeologists are very clear about that and the reason they can't really properly give it a date because they're trying to be very accurate when they're talking about it so we'll they see. some would say Thutmose the third some would say Amenhotep the second we understand that they are right next to each other, right? And so we would go, we would have an argument as to why we can't say specifically who was who was at reign. I would say now more, I'm leaning more towards, like I said, I, I go back and forth at times depending on what information I read, right? Depending upon what information I read, but we we really line up with Thutmose the third at the end of his reign, mm -hmm. but we could also make a reign for Amenhotep the second, depending upon some of the information that I've read. Is it true that they reign co -re if, Is it true that they had a co-regency? at the end of Thutmose the Third's reign. Because if they had a co-regency at the end of, of Thutmose the Third's reign, we get tricky, right? Who who's who's the actual pharaoh at the time, all of that stuff. So it would either be Thutmose the Third or Amenhotep the Second. And they're one hundred percent and they're one hundred percent is excavational proof or archaeological proof that a virus was abandoned abruptly at that time. No, nah, no, nah, that's not right. You messed it up because I mean whoa, think whoa, whoa, about whoa, whoa. It. what's not right? What's not right? Uh, your claim. I would. I would like to see that because we got we got text that show us what was happening in those areas. If we read the text, we know Tutmos the Third went and led his whole campaign against Syria, and he was finishing what Hot Sepsu did with dealing with the, uh, with mm -hmm. the Aamu. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so, if, if, if we if we compare the the claims to the textual documents it started to fall apart. Even the claim that it was, all these people got kicked out, but then a hundred years later, somebody needed to replace that workforce. It just don't make no sense. Like, why would they wait so long to, why would they even kick them out if they needed now, them? Garfield, now notice Garfield told you that that was my claim, right? Oh, notice, I thought I'm you not, said that I'm earlier. I thought you I'm said that earlier. That. No, Garfield I thought you that said that. There, right? Garfield put that out there. Now, what I did say is we do see Amenhotep II run up there and snatch some Asiatics and bring them back down there. We do see that. I mean, that's just the truth of it, right? See, this is what uh, I'm saying, though. Is why you keep interrupting? But that's but feel this. Man, me and Smash, me and Smash is going back and forth, bro. So but feel this. No, we have a good dialogue. But, but feel this. We got hot chefs. So if he if he thought hey, I was hey, if he thought hey, if he we got hot chefs, he would ask me to he would ask me to stop for a while. So do, we this right. real quick. We got Hatshepsut, Thutmose the third, and then Amenhotep the second. These are the people we talk about in the time period of your claim. Now they all yep. was dealing with Canaanites, and none of them yep. was uh, is it was not. So here's how it go. Thutmose went and fought all the way up into Syria, so we know his policy yep. towards Canaanites uh, in the yep. Egypt. We and then Hatshepsut falling closer to the. Uh, well, either between Tutmos or Hot Chef, she also has something that would have to be considered more of an expulsion and not an abandonment because she addressed it in her text, like, go yep. get rid of these uh, Amu. And right. then if we get right. down to Amenhotep the third, you the one, you said he the no, one the who second. The second. The second, I'm sorry. Second. That's who, yeah, that's the, the second. You're right. You're right. And if we get down to Amenhotep the second, that's the one who where the claims was made that he has an attestation of bringing back 80,000 Canaanites because of supposedly a workforce was uh, abandoned. So how now, that once works. Again, I, don't I don't attach that last part to it. Right. All right well, now I have well, asked that question. That's why so, Garfield got mad. I've asked the question, why did he go get them? But I don't make that argument in any of my presentations. That but that question that is a real scholastic place. one. Because why, yeah, why would you but kick it's a real out? question. Why would you? You kick out so many people enough I, to have an exodus, and then you go back and capture 80,000 so, so and bring again, them back? Once again, you keep saying kick out and expulsion, and I, I, don't, I don't see that, right? Oh, so we can pull up Where, the text hacker quick. That's why we be using the TLA. So, 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 so I'm in a mental health, I'm in hotel the second did an expulsion? Not, I'm no. not talking about Hatshepsut. So look, this is what I'm saying. I'm not talking the two about people... I'm talking about Amenhotep the second. But right. you feeling my theory? Are you following oh, my, my theory? Finish. Look, the two people yeah, yeah, before no, I him. You. I follow yeah. you. Yeah. So right. listen, I'm answering the question real quick. The two people before him kicked them out. 
So then we said he brought them back in because of they was a replaced workforce. And I'm like, how do that make, I mean, how do that actually make sense? If they needed Once them. Again, that's a straw man, brother. I'm not saying well, that. This, this is not, but Let he's he making respond. a straw man. He's, no, he's making What's the straw man? What's the straw man? Let me hear what the straw man is. I'm not, I'm not arguing that I'm in hotel. The second brought people in to replace the workforce. That's not what I'm okay, arguing. Okay, so not to replace, but what he, but you're arguing that he did bring them back in. I'm just saying we see records of him bringing, bringing people in, right? I don't care why he brought him in because according to me, the people that I'm talking about was already gone. That honestly, I'm that makes people. your argument more illogical. Explain Think why. about it, because if were they in there at first as a workforce, or they never was a workforce? Yes, they were in there at first as a as a workforce. Yes. So they got expelled, and there's a vacancy of a workforce. And then you go capture the same people who were supposedly the workforce, bring back ninety thousand of them, and now you're not saying that no, was to replace the, same, the workforce. These are not the same people. No, these are not the same people. That's the other. That's the other um, mistake you're making. No, the it's people not. that I'm in Hotep. I'm going I'm in off ancient Egyptian I'm, text, bro. They only right. got the, one so generic the people, term. They went and got so Amu. Where, and that's the problem. And that's the problem. That's huh. the other problem. That's that's actually the accuracy. No, 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 that and that's actually the biggest problem. Is what is your records? Your records don't show a clear cut distinction in the different types of Amu. Your records don't no, show they a do. clear cut. Then okay, then you then you should know the difference between no. See, this nomadic, is what I'm saying. Then, hold on, hear me out, bro. Then you should yeah. know the difference between a nomadic Semite and a Syro Palestinian. I do, and you, and said, you don't. Right. I, well, I we do, just clearly and you don't. It. We clearly talked about. So let the me Chiefs break it down how I do. No, and we you don't. clearly we clearly talked about the Chiefs of the Red Shoes. So don't uh, say but, that but I no, don't. That's know. just the Red New, and you said you knew about them, but they detailed the area. So they got okay, other so, names. So name another name since you know so, before so you I tell do me, it. So you tell me. So what were the Palestinians so called? No, so no, I didn't say you were stupid. So you know stupid. things no, I don't you know. You said I don't know. You, you, you said that I don't mean you know. stupid, you bro. So teach that, me. Look, so teach you me. know things so I don't me. know, and I know no, things you don't me. know. That so don't mean you stupid. Uh, so all right, so right. the Palestinians specifically, but, but just real quick, real quick, you, and I'm going to let you go, Asar, because he could dig in on this one. I just want to pinpoint one people to show how specific they got when they dealt with the Levant. When they talked about the people known as Palestinians, they're known in ancient Egyptian texts as Peleshet. Peleshet. What time so period? If, um, we could, uh, I don't know, offhand, but if we pull That's up important. the attestation uh, in the Middle That's Kingdom. Important. Middle Kingdom, Middle Kingdom. Yeah, okay, so this, right. So this is a different time period than what I'm talking. No, no, I'm no. They were always, even to this day. Talk, okay, okay, bet. So, so in the 18th dynasty, then they would have talked about the Peleset, correct? Yeah, if they if they wanted to pinpoint who they dealing with in the no, no, area, saying, they knew how they? to. I'm saying, the, did they? So sometimes we say black people, and sometimes we say black no, people from about, LA. I, I don't, but no, I'm I trying to get you to get my analogy. If they were, if no, they I had did, reason bro, to, they you. did. I'm Mm -hmm. I'm walking with you. So I'm asking. So I'm asking. Like in this time period that I'm talking about, the most the third, I'm yeah. Hotep the second. Yeah. Do they talk about do they Definitely. talk about a difference? Okay, what is the difference? What is the so, nomadic? What is the nomadic um central Palestinian call? Central Palestinian. Um, the one who would have had the ones who would have had different pottery, the ones that would have had pottery pottery from Tel El Yehudi. The ones that didn't honestly, have that. Uh, when you say Central Palestinian, are you saying Syria? You talking about like in, you said no, Central Palestinian? Yeah, I'm not talking about Northwest. I'm not. I'm not talking about Northwest. You said like Central Northwest. Palestinian. Yeah. So like when you. No, come but you know how small an area Palestine is. is at, you, but hold on, real quick. You know how small an area Palestine is, and even in ancient times. Yeah, so you said Central small. Palestinian. But we, so, but do you mean Syria Palestinian? No, I don't. I'm saying I know exactly what. Well, in Syria, so the central edge. Palestinian was called Peleshet. Right. Okay. So, so the whole area was called Peleshet. Yeah, because because Palestine was smaller than them. It wasn't right, a big. So, they detailed the so, area very good. That's so. Then, so, so the one more. So then, one more quick question. Hold on, sir. One more quick question. Is there a name for the nomadic Semite? Now, mind you, I'm asking you these questions because I know the answer. But is there a name for the nomadic Semite that is there? During the time of Thutmose the Third, and 
I'm a hotel the second. Is there a name for that a nomadic, nomadic semi? semite? There's plenty of names for nomadic semites, <laughs> but particularly if you're trying to refer to a small. What you say? What you say? What you say there, Asar? The what? Yeah, yeah, that's a small. That ain't nothing. I, that's not right, a woo. Right, right. I don't so, get the conversation. So, Hold on. Because, Let because me respond. No, nah, you're not letting me respond, bro. You talking out you over talking me. I didn't even get to respond. Right. You just did a woo-hoo. What you say, sir? All while I was talking. And that's what I was explaining. I was saying that if you want to deal with a small group of insignificant Bedouins, you're going to be mm -hmm. dealing with Shasu. And it's not only mm -hmm. one group of Shasu, it's plenty I different agree. groups of Shasu. One of the most irrelevant groups that you find one at the station to will be called the Shashu Ya or something. The Shashu so if, Yahoo, the Shashu Labash. Okay, so if Shashu, you got yeah, yeah, if I'm you with, got some people who were the inscription. Okay, so if you got some people so who were so that's the point. So here's the point that I'm making. The Shashu groups are the groups that we Why would say. Why do you keep cutting them off? I don't know, but I know bro. how to stop when people don't know when to stop. Go ahead, speak. Hey, I know. Talking go ahead. Hey, you no, you, you said hey, something about ahead. the Shasu groups, and I'm going to come right yeah, after no, that. That's no, good. go ahead, because evidently I'm, I'm ruffling feathers. Go ahead. I, no, you know you're not. You're just not knowing how to have the discourse without letting me get out the Bro, rest of my statement. Bro, y'all been cutting me off. Y'all been cutting me I off I haven't, in particular. I don't want to hear it. Right? Playing, but yeah, let's, let's, get, let's dig back, back in. Let's dig back in. Because you're losing at the Shasu. See, whenever you try to go to the Shasu, they're never referenced with no type of exodus, no type of avaris. You won't ever be able to place a Shasu in Egypt. You won't be well enough done with your research. See, you're going to find Shasu over in, this, in the areas we're talking about right now when they go outside of Egypt and have to deal with desert Bedouins. Now, one thing to know, Shasu are never related to Hikakasu. They're not ruled over by no Hikakasu. But mm -hmm. in particular, I'm going to let my man Asar detail how much detail they go into when talking about the people of Again, the people of the, of the Levant. I, I named the Peleshet, which was the people of Palestine. I named the retinue when they wanted to talk about the bigger area of Palestine. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and if you got some more of the names of uh, uh, so, oh Karu, Karu, well, we, we know that as Syria. Karu, but you could keep going, Asar. We gotta look hey, at hold on, that. hold on, hold on, hold on. Before before Asar go, because I, I want to, I don't want, I don't want to go off what Asar said. I want to go off what you say. Is there a name in this time period? For the nomadic or for the 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 agriculturists, the ones that are that are taking care of the, the horses and taking care of the stables, mm -mm. you know, it's this nasty you wretched up. You up. semi. Are they is nomads? There, is there a name? Hold on. You said nomadic agriculturalists. There's no such thing. There's no See? such thing as that there? No. no if you're a nomad, there. you moving over and over and over. Okay. If you're doing agriculture, so, so again, you're sedentary. So once, so once again, so once again, because I, I think you're not hearing the argument. These nomadic you meant to say nomadic that, pastoralists. These nomadic, the, yeah, same thing. Nomadic pastoralists. No, it's not the same they, thing. They would, they would also, a pastoralist okay, we'll is them, looking we'll for a pastor for their for we'll, their we'll stock them, and we'll their call flock. Them, we'll call them pastoralists, but the reason that but I'm they're not them in the agriculture. Nomadic, the the reason, okay, that's cool. The understand, like I know, I know what's in the records, but anyway. When I do the presentation, I, we have all this on record. So, but the point that I'm making is those, but those, but those nomadic pastoralists, mm -hmm. are you saying that there are none there? No, I never said that. We agree. We identified them. We talked about them. The Shasu. What's the, what's the name of them? The Shasu. Shasu. So the Shasu. Yeah. yeah. So the Shasu yeah. are the nomadic pastoralists. Now, are there nomadic pastoralists in Avaris or somewhere in that area? No, not at all. Okay. Got you. Got you. No. Just wanted to hear no. you say it. Gotcha. So, so I know what you're talking now. about. You're talking about Benny Hassan, which is way I'm, I'm deep. I'm talking about after. I'm talking about after Benny Hassan. I'm okay, talking right still, here. You, you know where Benny Hassan is? Third. Let me interject. Yeah, that's during yeah, the time, same is. time period. Hot Chef Sue, Tutmost III. We're talking about the same time period, bro. Yeah. Let me interject real quick. Go ahead. Are you talking, just so we can kind of pinpoint, and you, you'll let me know if you don't want to pinpoint, and I'll let you have your discourse. There's the Ekwesh, which are with the Achaeans. There's the Denian, which are the Danans. There's the Luka, which are with the Lycians. There's the Shekelesh with the Sicels. There's the Sheridan with the Sardinians. Which one in particular are you talking about that are the Aegeans in 
uh, amongst the, the palace yet. Yes, that's one of their names too. I, I, I'm, I'm asking y'all. The but, but I'm asking you know, y'all. Well, well, implies well, well, palace yet. I'm so asking y'all. Well, I'm, well, I'm, I'm asking y'all. I'm asking y'all. I'm, te- I'm, I'm asking telling y'all you what the name. I'm telling I'm you. I'm asking you what is the name. But I'm the telling name? you now. The Pelishet right, were bet. the supposed Philistines, and when you talk about the Aegean area, you're talking about ancient Palestine. You're talking about Pelishet. So I'm asking you, which one of these groups? Because these are the groups that are there in the Mediterranean. Bet I'm some talking the about the peoples group. and some of the other people. These are the. I'm talking about the group. The I'm Denian? talking about the group that's not the Syro Palestinian. Whatever group you want to say is opposite from that Syro. Yeah, okay. not the Syro Palestinian. Whatever group that you're saying is not the Syro Palestinian, what's their name? Okay, gotcha. No, tell not me. the Sy- In what instance, though? I don't get it. I'm just trying to follow the conversation. In, in what instance, not the Syro Palestinian? So, in the instance of whatever this Asiatic is or this Semite is that is in. This region, right? This Avaris Quantier region during the most okay. First off, let's maybe we need to go all the way back here. Are there any Semites in this area during the time of Thutmose the third? Yeah, okay. What are they called? Aamu generally. So that's how it worked. Okay. Like when the, when you get in the Kemet, so called, you ain't even had no rank, even for Nubians, unless they appoint that rank to you. So if you had like these people on the screen, this is where we get this most heck of Kasuk thing from. But people uh, t- interpret this wrong and we'll talk about it. But yeah, there were definitely Semites there since a long time ago. And this is why they was talking about all these fights with these people in the north doing this different thing. I think everybody would agree to that like uh, yeah, unless okay. he's talking then, about the then, Akan people in particular and, but and, and if so, you don't specify who you're talking about right then it can be I right and so, so that's why i'm asking so then when you deal with the Amu <laughs> during the time you know what i'm doing sir don't you? i know so, I let, know. Him, let, him, let him let him let him work let him let him work <laughs> hey, please, please let him work so so I, I just I want these things on record. So I, you know what I'm saying? So I can know what everybody's saying. That's all, brother. We, you know, this is just a filling out process. Shit, so, so what else you was about I, to say, yeah. So 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 is there a distinction amongst the Amu or are they all just Amu? And I'm once again I'm talking yeah, yeah. specifically during the time of Tutmos the third, I'm a hotel the second, mm-hmm. whatever these these pastoralists, we wouldn't call them nomads, because you don't you 18th think I, 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 you know what I'm yeah, this is 18th dynasty, of course, but I'm talking about specifically during the time period of Thutmose the third, I'm a hotel the second, like this this pastoralist Semite that is right there in Avaris, in Quantir region, what is their name? Uh most generically the Aamu. You won't find so them just referred the to, So it go like this. Hikakasu is the people we see on the screen who ruled mm-hmm. over the Aamu. And and when you see those two referenced with uh with with Avaris, it'll be hard. You might could find some other attestation, but that's the most common one you'll find in the text corpus. That that's when they it. talk they about still, those people. And are and are they still calling I'm sorry, were you finished? Because I don't No, no, you, you oh, go no, ahead that says here. Right. at the bottom, just so you know who those particular okay. ones. Or what he okay, has bet. Kind of bet. And and then final and then I, I don't want to say final because I, I just really want to understand now that we you know stop playing games and now we st- we're gonna really narrow down this time period. Um, um are there any are there any Hekakasu there during the time of Thutmose the third and uh I'm in Hotel the second? Uh that's a good question. And so I think uh they were supposed to got expelled by Kamos, but when when mm-hmm. I gotta look over uh What's her name? Text to see if she referenced Heka Kasu or if she just referenced Aamu in the actual primary. But they was definitely still dealing, like y'all said, with the remnants of the people who were still there yep. even after those yeah. expulsions. Right now, and so that's but that's the point. And so this is why it becomes important. And, and once again, I do appreciate you, and I appreciate you your honesty when it's time to be honest. Right. So. um it's important for us to know that 100 percent, I ain't gonna say 100 percent because there could be some obscure writing that I missed. Right. But from my research, I don't see any reference of, of Hekakasu after Kamos run him out of there. But, but we do Amu see right Amu. There the but screen. we see Amu. But we see Amu. We 100 percent see Amu. And that's why I wanted to know, do they because you said they, they specifically detailed. And what did you guys say? They clearly make a difference between the Hekakasu or the Retinue as opposed to the Amu. 
Mm -hmm. Right. And so this this Amu. Right. So you're saying that this Amu was the pastoralist that remained in this area. Correct. Well, let me let, hold on. Let's ask him real quick. Keep yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's right what I will here, say. Go ahead. I'm going to show you. It says and right next to this. Out, are, can I ask a question so to you, all y'all on the panel? Yeah. Yep, let me pinpoint so, what he's trying to read and then we're going to so, go in. Let's go up towards the owl first. And the right gentleman here. with the throw stick, yeah. Uh, so as if you scroll over just a little bit, so they can see. So the just person. so they know, this is like towards the end of the text for anybody right. who uh, see. Yeah, go ahead. So this right here says "ah mu." So you see the "ah" and the arm, and you see the "ah." You see the throw stick for foreigners. You see the people. We've got a count. We got what? 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you got thirty-eight of them below. As this gentleman is presenting them to the king, you have who they are, who or where they're coming from. So it says here, Hik Kasut. What you guys know as the Hik Sos. And if we go into Plutarch's breakdown of Hik, Kas, and Sos, they give another explanation because that's the Greek version. So this is Hikakasut, and these particular Hikakasut are Amu. My brother, are you telling us that there are no Amu Hikakasu or Amu Hik, 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 Hiksos? Who's saying that? I'm asking you. No, I'm saying 100% that's the case. And I'm saying okay. that, and I'm saying that these Hikakasu Amu had civil strife. That's okay. my first argument. That's my first argument. And the yeah, civil okay, strife. Okay, well, we all is, agree to that. Now, what's the second okay, argument? The, now, right. Now, the second argument is, is, now once, once, <laughs> once, 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 <laughs> now once Kamos runs them out, this pastoralist Amu remains, All and right. that at, at some point in time, during the during either the end of Thutmose the Third reign or during the beginning of Amenhotep the Second's reign, or if they're reigning co-regency, there is an abrupt exodus, not an expulsion, right? Unless right. you show me now, if you show me now, if you show me some records of them exposing, it's gonna be hella and funny right same, here. And it's in that same time period. Oh man, we you know now. Look we, at the okay, screen, at least, bro. Just look at, at the screen. We, at least this we, is so at least funny. We time it. Look at the screen. You see my screen? Yeah, I'm looking at it. This the time period. What they time period in. is this? What time period? They come. This what Benny Hassan. Is this is what, what everybody is? used. What, what's the, what's, so no, what, what, what's the this, date? What's the date? I'm about to pull it up so that we ain't whoa, playing whoa, gotcha. Be careful. Be no, careful. I, I want to pull it up so we're not playing gotcha. So we could just put the right one, Benny. H A S S A N. Because I could pull the one out of my memory. No justice if I'm wrong. You see what I mean? So let's go look at the time period of this Benny Hassan at the station. Says, I'll, let, uh, I'll let Smash finish doing what he's doing. Then go I'm ahead while I look this up. While I look this up. What's the dating? We about to all find right. it. All right. So, so, so every, every, all the people. They say 12 we dynasty. So keep at. going. So, right. So, so that's, hold on. So, hold on. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. Save y'all promise. So, I want to make this point. So, this has nothing to do specifically with the time period I'm talking about. This is talking about the Yeah, this people. is earlier. This, this is, is earlier. This is when, yeah, that's my point. Thank you, sir. All right. Keep going, Savio. Okay, so these people that we've been looking at and talking about these Hekakasu, these Hyksos, these Amu, these Sashu, these, the, these every people that's been named, are they African? Any part of, are they from the any continent, any country on the continent of Africa, are these people from that continent? They're, they're Semites. So... Uh, so that means they came into Africa. Yes. That means well, okay. So 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 my point is. So now don't interrupt me because you, you. That's one one person. Can it, does anybody else have an answer? I'm confused, man. I don't, I don't know where he's going, but so I'll, I'll so ride so, with so, so so my so my point is these people that we're looking at, they're not Africans, yeah. right? They're not Africans. These people, these people don't, 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 no, 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 no. I'm no. sorry, I thought you, you were asking me a question. I you you don't, asking me don't, a question. don't, 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 don't. So, because they're not, because we look at these people, <laughs> we see these people that come in that we're talking about, these Shashu, these Amu. We see this, they're coming into 
Egypt. They're coming into Avars. They're coming into these places. They're not African. So what we see here is people on in our faith culturally trying to appropriate a culture and force themselves. They're trying to make themselves something they're not. Right here in our faith. Brother Shabby, I'm going to just say something real quick so everybody has context uh, from my brother, Anonymous Hebrew. He is actually half Asian, half Black. Say that, so say that again, Asar. My brother, my brother, Anonymous Hebrew, right there, he's half Asian, half Black. Thank you, sir. Oh, so, Anonymous Hebrew. So, oh, I didn't so know here, that So here's the, here's, the, here's the problem. When you look at my autosomal genetics, autosomally, I have a lot of this in my system, bro. Now, oh, I didn't know that male, about you. Although, now, although my paternal half group is EM180, it shows through my autosomal genetic makeup that I got a lot of Asiatic in me, right? That's just what it is. And I've done that genetic work. Hold on. Okay. Um, okay, I'm that's cool. in the chat. Right? Asiatic now, lion. Oh, real quick. Asiatic lion, what you mean they always had a newbie in the backs? Man, you now, got that off my show, bro. I know you did. Just give me some props. Anonymous. And, and, brother Nanus. What's up, Marcus? Peace, what's up? brother. What? I've been I, I've been listening. I've been listening to these great arguments. Great, great, great arguments on both sides, right? I know but you're I gonna kick to... me. It's cool. <laughs> no, no, no. I just I just it, it just makes it just makes me uh, uh have to ask a question and I say, okay, I'm not an expert, right? You're not an expert. Uh I, no disrespect when I say that. But I'm trying to figure out how do you conclude something that the experts yourself don't conclude. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just I'm just trying to. I'm, though you have an argument, you feel me? But the conclusion that is that it sounds like, and I could be wrong, that you're concluding, the experts yourself don't conclude it. So I'm trying. I'm just trying to say like, okay, so this is your own like, you know what I mean? Like, or, or, no, so, so I disagree. Scholars that yes, so, yes, you know, I that can't. Says so the I, same I thing that you say. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. If you Dr. can, Scott, then, hey, that's, that's great. I'd love to see what they say because I hear your argument. I hear what you're saying. But can you? No. Okay, yeah, I'm can y'all hear me? No, you good. I mean, that's a great yeah. question. I thought I said it earlier, right? Yes, Dr. Scott, Scott Stripling, um, Dr. Douglas Petrovich. Um, there are several PhD that have this same argument, right? And uh, you can look at, especially start to look at the works on associates for biblical research, right? You can go look at all this archeological work that they have. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really a no brainer when you talk to them. Uh, they uh, but, they, but, they but, argue- but have, have their studies been peer reviewed? Yes, <laughs> their studies have been peer reviewed. They argue, they argue back and forth. You know how academia does, right? So it's, it's not like they're just making these things up in a vacuum. And I'm actually sitting on a lot of this evidence. So while Sabio is saying, mm -mm, I, I would I would implore you, brother, to do that research before you say that to me. That's all, right? But yes, there is oh, there is a, a a great amount of detailed argumentation that is happening every year. This is why a, a person like Israel Finkelstein will say, basically, we got to update our information every year because every year we're doing more and more archaeological digs. Makes right? sense, right? And so I, I mean, I've been I've been dealing with this. I've been dealing with this for a real long time. And I'll just say that, right? And once again, I'm not, not trying to postulate. Uh, once I'm finished with all this work, so and again, all of my studies, I will be labeled an expert on this. And so again, you know what? So you know what? I would be really interested in seeing, seeing, seeing your presentation. You know what I mean? Because, um, uh, because uh, uh, I can see this way, I could dig into your presentation uh, uh, uninterrupted. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's, mm -hmm. like, I can kind of like really zero in on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so yeah. once again, the only the only point where me and Smash, even though it, it, it sounds good for us to go back and forth, there's only a few things that we are under contention about. Right. And the biggest thing is that that abandonment of a virus at what time period? That's the only thing we really are in 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 um, in disagreement with. But everything else, we can take that and line up with the biblical narrative. Right. So, for instance. When you read what? Exodus chapter one, hear me out. Watch this. So when you read, when you read Exodus chapter one, and it talks about these Semites start to expand, 
it says they multiplied and waxed and grew strong. That happens during the during the reign of the Hekakasu. You can see the expanding of the settlement of Avaris. The stratigraphy map and all of the archaeology actually shows it. At the time period that the Bible would put this exodus or, or put this story in happening. It's mm -hmm. not me shoehorning. It's what mm -hmm. the Bible says. Right? Nah, so once again, that's a little the bit Bible of a says... Horn. No, hear, that's hear me a out. little shoehorn, but go ahead. Hear, hear me out. All right, so so that's a hell of a shoehorn. No, let's, let's, do the, let's, your, do put, put let's do the dating. Put your foot in the size nine, and you wear it eleven. Do the, let's do the let's do the dating. Bro, Hyksos was coming right. in since early. They was fighting them off. Of, I mean, foreign rulers I was agree. coming in since Hear early periods. Hear me yeah. out, and let's do the dating. Hear me out, and let's do the dating before we go crazy. Hear me out, and let's do the dating because y'all obviously haven't done it. That's all I'm saying. It's clear that you haven't done it. So let's do it. Right. This is why Chris. It's one of the greatest arguers of this when it comes to this. We have so much fun doing it because he doesn't even play no games with this. He's just going to have to go and say Solomon's temple never existed. That's your only argument you're going to have against what I'm about to do. I'm going to tell you right now, right? So according to the biblical narrative, 480 years before this, there is the Exodus. But then when you get to the time period of the Exodus, mm -mm -mm. right? So let's say the Exodus happens. You're running out of darts, bro. You did this whole discourse. All, all you I want me to rewind. All, all you gotta, all you and he running out of darts. You, you did this whole 480 years thing, all you bro. Do is, all you gotta is do is let me finish. We will. You, you don't remember we did this earlier in the show. I'm gonna give you, now I'm gonna give you a couple more. So just Okay, go ahead, go ahead. So now, if we take you back to 1446, now this is the next point that I was going to make. Exodus chapter 2, and, and the rest of that chapter before the Exodus, covers a period of 80 years. So now we go from 1446 to 80 years before that, which takes us to around 1525, somewhere in that area when Moses would have been born. You don't have to like it. You don't have to say he exists. That's not where I'm going right now. I'm just talking about what the biblical narrative is. So now that takes us back to Exodus chapter two. When we get to Exodus chapter one, it goes through a very long period of time because it says each time they waxed and grew stronger. This is this is biblical idioms for this is a long period of time of them settling and getting larger. And so that takes you to that time period. Now, it sounds funny, right? It sounds amazing. Sounds funny until I line it up and show you. Right, so be careful. Like y'all don't really deal with this. I can tell. No, we be really do deal nah, with this. You don't deal with we it, bro. With the scholarship to on this. Say the whole time, brother. Nah, he, you don't really, he, 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 he do a lot of word salad, but you don't deal with it. Check this out. Look at this. I want you us don't to deal, deal with, with scholarship at all, bro. You see okay. where uh, a right, virus dude, is right shit. here? Oh, y'all can okay. see the map, right. the and part I highlight on the map. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Y'all see the part I highlight on the map to say a virus? Y'all can see the blue part right here. Y'all don't see that? I just yeah, want to make sure y'all can see it. Yeah, All right, it. look. Avaris got occupied because nobody was there. It, 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 it They chose that location because nobody was there because they was being ran out and everything. Let's go all the way down to here. Beni Hassan. We had the 16th gnome of Upper Egypt. All right? And in the 16th gnome, Beni Hassan is where they find this inscription in somebody's tomb so we gotta all keep this we gotta be geographically astute too when we have these conversations because if we first and foremost this find ain't got nothing to do with avaris but by the attestations of the people saying look it was some hike soaks written in a tomb or, or Hikakasu written in a tomb way down here in Benin Hassan. Now to talk about it, the first people that they ever referenced as Hikakasu in ancient Egyptian literature comes from down here, Lower Nubia, actually particularly the, the area of Mija. They was called Hikakasu, but they said the people was the people of Mija. So we know that that just mean a foreign ruler, but nevertheless, and finally, we see how deep down this Beni Hassan thing is. If we look at it geographically, it kind of throw off people theory because this, when you see people walking in, you think they walking through Syria or Palestine or something. And I got more information to prove it. And shout out to Asiatic Lion in the chat real quick. And I'm going to wind this one up. I want to show y'all something. Beni 
because they always do this to me on Wiki, Benny Hassan. They be taking my information on Wiki and they be changing it, right? I mean, somebody do it eventually, but uh, not all of the time, but it's happened to me once. Uh, but what I got evidence because I got a video of uh, me, me reading the Norma palette before they said that you could read it on Wiki. Now they went and changed it and got all the stuff I was reading. But anyway, that might sound like I'm crazy, but watch this one. I'm going to show you one live in, 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 in live in action because they don't be right. They don't really know the glyphs. And this is a further testament to why we should actually read these glyphs for ourselves so that we can, for this conversation, it's assisting us, but also for other conversations. So I need to find where they say this is Hikakasu carrying a cat. I mean, they say his name is Abisha. Y'all know anything about that? Have y'all studied this text where they say that this, Man, here you know if they say it's Abisha, you see right under the Ibix's face that says Abish. Yeah, so hey, that's what we was question. about to address. But go what ahead, is, who's asking the question? Any of this, what, what does any of this got to do with what I've been saying? Um, it, it got a lot to do with what you've been saying because, first of all, Explain, we need to please. understand that's what I'm about to do. First oh, of sorry, all, brother, we brother. don't even understand the geographical context of some of our source material. Particularly, even though you did not bring out Benny Hassan, it is a source that leads us back to how they dealt with and, you know, hike soaks, what have you. But we find it far, far deep down from a virus. Now, this isn't, again, I'm not saying this to directly contradict anything you're saying. I'm bringing gotcha. light to the nature of the hike soaks and the Aamu uh, in the aspect of Kimmy. Seeing that we found them so far down. I don't want to say that it was that far down, but the tomb that talked about them was that far down that we see that they had a bigger span even before being relegated to uh, the areas of Avaris. So I was just kind of so, show that they was all over before right. um, Avaris and, and was so my, and, so, and so And so my point would be then that this don't got nothing to do with my argument. I'm not arguing about B'nai Hassan. We both agree that Amu come in, that Hyksos come in, right? How far down they go really doesn't change the argument about what we're talking about, right? It yeah, the but what, about what yeah it definitely don't, and it, it kind of wasn't necessarily intended to. We was just making, I, I iterated what I wanted to make the points about. One, about how reading, remember I said how when we read this in the metal netter, we can see that uh, they got some things confused. Particularly, let me get to this point real quick. Um, because how Asiatic Lion had pointed out in the text, I was trying to get to the wiki where they say that this hike so ruler name right here is Abisha, as by reading this metal nature. But what we wanted to reiterate is that it is us, uh, me and Asar and a few other who read this and said, no, they got that wrong. This is a foreign ruler. Uh, it said Hikak. Kasut right here, but right down here, this is not his name. This is the name of the animal. Now, uh, just to get back to our reference, if we see they are pastoralists because they don't got nothing of agriculture with them, they're just bringing all these animals that they are are down with. And secondarily, when we to, for everybody, this I, this B, and this S H A. Actually, I'm going to open up a metal netter dictionary and put IBX, and it's going to show you how Wiki is wrong in this instance that, oh, uh, well, let me see. Let me do it for us different. IBS, I'm going to put an IB capital S, right? All right, what's going to get me to this um, no. IBS? I ain't getting me I think to you this. did it IBX last time. I thought I did. Uh, maybe it's a capital X. I back. So this is to watch. Well, it's not bringing it up right now because I ain't got the proper transliteration Did in you there, put an but, a in there too before but what is going to lead us back to show that the cat uh the animal he's holding is a nubian ibex right and uh, a nubian ibex so let me just put i b e x and see what happened so now they just uh let's see how do they got the other attestation so you can see what i'm talking about a female ibex so they they need to spell it the way that you can see the similar the same symbols so that you can know what I'm talking about. So really again, this is not me trying to discredit you some. I'm just putting new information into the bucket of how yeah, the I, I, yeah, how the I, 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 I were dealt with. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, I love that. 
Uh, the, so the only point that I'm making is is uh, I'm, I'm not really far fetched. No, you don't have to agree with it, right? But what I'm saying is it's not completely off, right? We just disagree really on a, on a few different points, right? We disagree on the expanding and the settlement and what the Bible says about it, and we disagree on the archaeology about when these Amu would have left. That's what it comes down to, right? And I've been looking at the chat like all of that. Uh, it sounds good and Let's hate these Hebrews. Me and Smash been building. There's no disrespect. I don't disrespect the brother. I love, I love his work. And what I've done is I come in here and laid a solid foundation as to why I'm making this argument. Now, I would like to do, and I've been working on this presentation for a long time, so I'll go ahead and make the presentation, and then we'll come mm -hmm. back and we'll talk about it. But make no mistake, like, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Like, I haven't even opened up the sources and I want to, because because you did say earlier, I just want to make sure I'm clear on you. did say earlier, you changed it some, but you did say earlier that I was in error when I said that these Hekakasu reigned over and, and basically the words used is pretty much colonized this pastoralist or nomadic um, Amu. Yeah, That's yeah, what the archaeology yeah, 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 shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said nah, I was um, wrong, but do you, you agree expanded now? that. You you expanded that a bit. Uh, we we went into detail, and my 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 refutation so was now that you agree. that no no I said we went into detail, and my refutation was that they went into great detail when they talked about the different peoples of the Levant. But you said they had um, subjected the uh, the pastoralists, the nomadic pastoralists, yeah. or so to speak, and that don't appear to be the case. The people of Avaris were settled for a long time. Once they settled there, they took on deities and everything, and they wasn't no longer a move around people. So they came in as that, but once they took some, became bosses, they even took. They start saying they was the whole rulers of Kemet, and so you know they yeah. wasn't nomadic at those points in time. You see what I'm saying? But I'm 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 saying the Hekakasu weren't nomadic, but there were other Amu there that were that would have been remnants of those original nomads that came in in the middle through century, all periods of time in the through, middle kingdom in the through middle, all right, time so, periods. You you're not incorrect. Right, gotcha. Yeah, through all That's time right. periods. And so so and so we agree then that these the at at some point in time these Hekakasu do um overlord over those yeah that's what they name me that they right. mean the so, bosses amongst them basically right. right so they are the bosses of these lower level mm -hmm. semites mm -hmm. yeah yeah this is my argument so yeah that's cool. all right man hey, i appreciate y'all yeah but just in closing let me say because you made a lot of good points but i don't want you to think that any of that mean that you can prove exodus bro so we could yeah, talk about you. it all day but when it comes down to that big that big <laughs> when did these people leave where's they tools where's they stuff they drop that'll have another yeah. three hour we'll have another three hour discussion yeah. on that but just in closing yeah. like i said i appreciate that uh brothers with the opposing view feel welcome on my platform because for one thing that i research is that we the ones who do all this beefing and shit over what somebody yep. believe. That's some new, yep. I guess that come from a different tradition, but in ancient times, they would be getting down and look like, okay, that's what y'all rock. Then how do I play homage to that so that you will feel welcome right. around so me? Feel welcome. And, and particularly with the Magi and the relationship with the Magi and the Hebrews throughout all times. What? Hebrews is always coming to the Magi for some help. Boy, I got all the attestations. So y'all can continue no, the, to do that the, no, today. It's all here's good. Here's the final point. And here's the final point. This is why I said yesterday as well. The original understanding of these biblical of this biblical conversation is that these people are monolatric. They are not monotheistic. And this is a very important distinction that we got to start making if you're going to rock with the Bible. Monotheism is something that strictly comes later. And mm -hmm. that's where you get your Christianity, Christianity and Judaism and all of that. If you're really going to rock with this tradition, right, if you're going to rock with this tradition, then you need to understand, especially those that would have considered themselves to be Yahwist 
or work. So they was henotheistic before they was monolatristic. Before they was monolatristic. And if you think about how uh, monolatry works, uh, it kind of cancels out monotheism. Because once you know some other people, yeah, once you know some other people worship another God, then the definition of monotheism is out the window. Because that means you think only one God exists. But if you say, no, they worship pagan gods, then that's more monolatristic, which means... I acknowledge some other people worship some other gods, but that ain't the right one. I Ours is the right with one. My God. Yeah, that's right. what mono, monolatry is. Right. And so yeah, right. I, I mean, right. I, if you want to look at some of my work on that, I wrote a few years ago. You could go to rapgod.wordpress, and I got something. Just Google, search the words biblical monolatry, and you can see a little bit of insight that I just got from various sources. I put my sources and shit. But yeah, it's just gonna boil down to that big hurdle that you got to hop. It's like, bow, just show this exodus. We can't be looking at um abandonments, you know what I mean? We can't look at expulsions. We gotta look yeah. at got up on their own and cut. Yeah, you know what we did, we did. yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna show you got up on their own and got up out of here. So yeah. Uh. What's going on? I'm not gonna see you, bro. What's happening, bro? Who that? This black woman. What's happening with ah, you, fam? What's up with it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Barry, Barry, <laughs> love, my brother. What's happening with you, you up here? I see you. I see you. <laughs> you know what? Doing a little this work. will make for a real good this <laughs> over so the time between these two. That's because uh, he, he's savvy. He got a team. that he Yeah, yeah, with. for sure. Yeah, he's gonna good. Be, it'll be fun. It'll make the channel. He's real, fun. He's he's real good. good. But let me just say this real quick. You, you good, brother. You real good. But let's get <laughs> one thing established. <laughs> I mean, I mean, get to it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I still to do it. <laughs> let's get one thing established real quick. We're not talking about the biblical story. We're not talking about Moses splitting the sea and that exodus. We're not talking about that. What you're talking yeah. about is some Semitic people or Semitic speaking people leaving from Kemet. Yeah, I'll give you that. You can see them coming, going in and out of Kemet. There's no doubt about that. When you're talking about a virus, you got to look, you got to go deeper in the virus because there was supposed to be some type of epidemic in the virus. That's why you see this so-called abandonment. Yeah. Yeah. Now, nah, another nah, thing no, is, no, no, uh, 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 yeah, if you type in abandonment from a virus and you go deep into the literature, You'll see the word academic in in a virus. This, this is early. That is, is what I'm that saying. is that is. I'm telling you. What, I'm telling you. You talking early. about? You talking early. about? You talking about? Um, when you look in a virus. You talking about uh, before? Uh, you you talking about during the time of Camos, right? In the 13th century, you talking yeah, about that? Yeah, point. when Camos yeah, when Camos well, Camos comes in the 15th century when he comes running around. Just let me make quick point of order, then you finish. I don't disagree that there is an epidemic. But they actually then re inhabit that land after the epidemic. That's the only point. Keep going. Yeah, okay, okay. You, you're right about that. That's right. Now, but the problem is what does these people have to do with, with the Israelites? How are they linked to the Israelites? If you're talking about the Shas, Shasu, if you're talking about the, uh, the his coast, what, 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 what scholars, what consensus says that these people are actually Israelites? Do we have a consensus on that? Yeah, I don't, if you I don't say that say to you, you're gonna mess your whole don't mess your whole day up, A9. This is why I say this is I, why I, don't I say, believe we do. This is why I say this is why I say they're the pro. Wait, 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 Arguments among scholarship about certain situations, so you can pick on the one side or the other, and you and you are great at picking the side that's, that 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 seems to support your position. You're excellent at that, but you what you what you what, what's not being told and what's not being said is there's an other side of the argument. When you don't have a consensus, when the when argument is open, both sides are going back and forth. So like. I'll give you an example. The, you know, the inter- intertextual uh, books of, of uh, the apocryphal books. Some say that these books were used to create the New Testament. Some say it, it wasn't. 
So you have a there's no consensus on that matter. So you, what you have is is people arguing back and forth. You have scholars on one side of the argument. You have scholars on the other side, and so they're going back and forth. There's no consensus. So what you're doing, you're going by with uh, some of the scholars that you know of that supports your position. But there's another side of that argument. There's no dogmatic conclusion on 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 what actually happened. So that, but but you're great at that, bro. You're doing good. I'm proud of you. You rep the bay well. <laughs> Keep up the good work, fam. Go ahead. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. That's, Go ahead. That's my bro right there. So I, I just a couple quick points. Um, I agree with you that there there are multiple arguments, and that's the reason that I bring the arguments out that I bring because all I keep hearing is, is that, oh, there's a consensus that this never happened. That's not true. They argue about this stuff all the time in academia, right? That's that's the first point of order. Second point is, I do study everything that everybody else says. I, I, tried, to, I tried to study this to know, you know, is this real? Does this happen? Do we have any material culture for yeah, this? I know right? you do. And, right. And what we... I know you know the other argument. <laughs> yeah. And, and so what we see yeah. is even the yeah. people who would argue, the people that would argue against it, they're arguing because of, in my opinion, a lack of biblical knowledge, right? That's basically what it comes down to with most of these guys. They'll say this can't be the Exodus, not because we don't see material culture, but because it's in the wrong time period based upon the Ramesse anachronism argument. Nah, That's man, basically you, what it always comes down to. Why you be doing to. that? You be messing your arguments that, up. We definitely don't I'm, see no, no material culture I'm of an Exodus. You, <laughs> Okay, Material so, culture of an exodus. Where do we see that, that and ignore the biblical it? Exodus. They're not talking about right. the exodus that you're speaking of. They're talking about okay. the biblical exodus. Bro, you. you know, when they go to the south, they can find a tent hole in the ground set up 5,000 years ago. They'll be like, oh, where, this is where, where they at? set that camp. And I'm talking where, about in where? the South. And archaeology, we know how archaeology works. You know what I'm saying? They can find. Right. But, but, we also, but we also know that when it comes to digging, especially in Kemet, we got a lot of issues because of all of this sand. Like, so, so I mean, we, we, have, we have massive amounts of sand. And the other, the other question is, where have they been excavating? Right? That's so the here's other the thing. We, we got to understand. Egyptology was set up to substantiate your claims. See, they put all of this money. You know who the first people to put all of these money? It was Christian institutes and stuff, particularly Rockefellers and stuff, putting all of this money in the early excavations to substantiate the claims of the Bible. They were, and then they found all this other stuff. You feel what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And so really, mm -hmm. honestly, They've been trying to find that for hella long. They just didn't find it. They can find a bead off a bracelet on a trail to water, dude, from 5,000 mm. years ago. So when we talk about having material culture of an exodus, it's hard pressed to, to mount that part. You should exit that out of your argument because there's not uh -huh. much material culture yeah. of an exodus found anywhere. How about this? How, and I appreciate that advice. How about you just sit back and watch me give it a run? You feel me? Sit back, just watch me give it a run and see. Let's see what happens. I heard somebody talking about earlier, if you do this, you'll get a Nobel Prize. For all you know, that might be my goal. Nah, that's right? the, so, that's ambitious, bro. So, because you so, ain't digging so, in the ground. So whoever really dug in the ground and found it would have got credit for that claim. You nah, see? That's not necessarily true either, though. Like, so what we see also is people's ability to harmonize information. Right. And so uh, a lot of times the problem is, is people's know. cognitive dissonance and, and, and different confirmation bias make it impossible for them to process and harmonize certain and information. I think you smart right? enough to mount your argument in a way without providing the evidence. Well, real quick, y'all, I'm sorry. I without, think you smart enough. Material to mount, yeah, argument. without. Yeah, yeah. Mount your argument and leave that out and just. Put all the other facts because you could jam up the average person with your knowledge, but somebody with a well, I mean, I know that ain't your intent. You just simply mount, mounting your argument. And I'm saying, you see how, it, how he removed we, himself from that group. 
Yeah, when you put, but I am removed from that. But look, but what I'm saying, though, because you can't box me up, bro. That's easy to box this hey. argument up. Anybody from yeah, the Colorado squad, that's gonna go both ways. I, I'm yeah. a rock squad. Know how to box that up real easy. Hey, ain't look, none of them I'm people tell, real, bro. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, ain't none of them bro. people. I'm a magi up. archer, but when we was the oh, I'm a rock squad, I was one of the yo. members. You feel me? You backed off. That can go both ways, anonymous. I can go okay, both ways because you got a lot of people that's uh that's biblical that's that that are believers on your side and they're you and they they are biased when it comes to this too. So that goes both there's ways. A lot, there's oh, a lot of biblical believers that disagree with me. That's you know fact. because they want it because they want it to be in the twelfth and thirteenth century. That's fact. Right? They want it to be the narrative of the Bible. That's yeah, they, they want it to be, and so and this is why I say we don't I don't run away from anachronism. And have you have you ever just did a Google search on cultural anachronism? By the way. Oh yeah, you know I was mad at that. I was mad. No, that was me particularly. I wasn't. Mad. I understand what an anachronism is, and I understand what culture is. When you referenced it, you wasn't using it pejoratively, as if it's something uh, uh, acceptable. You see what I mean? And so when somebody was refuting you, you was like, yeah, that's a cultural anachronism. As if the people who don't know what that means would, would, would give it a, a pass or something. A cultural well, you anachronism. Should if you understood in, liter in, in a literary context that we're using it in. Right. So you a think literary, when we, it's a you think, device. Right. You think when we're using it, you know, say, oh, man, that's a bad thing if you guys are admitting that something's out of place. No, in a literary context with a particular writer, of the biblical narrative, right? A particular writer, if he's using something, if he's saying Pyramses, which is what it would have been known in this time that he's writing, right? He's talking about the time, he's talking about the city of Ovaris so that people can have a contextual and geographical understanding in his time of what he's talking about. That's how we're using, it, right? When we say cultural anachronism, right? Which most literary, how literary scholars use it. That's what we're talking about, especially dealing with didactic literature. That's what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's all but, fine. I'm willing to accept that, but then we gotta that know. But that don't uh, that uh, can't uh, apply uh, real quick, Black Line. That can't apply yeah. when we start analyzing uh the reality of the situation because we would have to address what's anachronistic about what they're saying or what's out of order. Like we can we can so we saying it's accepted culturally because they just telling they tell to some people who might not have known the real chronology. But we're doing scholastics to see if it really happened. So again, the cultural anachronisms got to be thrown out and we got to look at true chronology on all senses of the stance. That's just how I think. Facts, okay. and not just that, okay. not just okay. that, not just that, you have to, you have to go by what the scholarship says. If the scholar, if you don't have scholarship to, to support the narrative, then you have to do what you're doing now and go outside of that and point at what the scholarship does support, which is Semitic people did go in and out of Kemet. No one's going to argue against that. Who's going to argue with you against that? That's not the that's not the issue when it comes to Israelites. When it comes to Israelites, it is what well, is your story in the Bible a fact? And do you have evidence to back it up? And the and the and the, and the truth of the matter is no. And let me make something clear real quick because I've heard this up here. When you're talking about an eponymous ancestor, I can prove to you right now that a fictional character can be an eponymous ancestor. Every last one of you on this phone. Every last one of you on this panel has an Achilles attendant. Has an Achilles attendant. That is the eponymous name for your attendant. Achilles. So yeah, somebody did say it. Somebody said, that doesn't mean that uh, eponymous doesn't mean it's not, it, they're not real. Yes, it can mean it's not real. No, he and said it, it couldn't mean it. No, no, no. no, no. He said it what doesn't you, necessarily. So I, I've heard that said, maybe not here. But I've heard that no. said many times. So I'm just making that clear why I have a chance to do so. Because I'm sick of hearing that. And one more thing I want to say, when you when you point out people that's historical in the Bible, there's something called you hermonism. You hermonism is using real historical people in your fictional story. You hemorization. Exactly. It's called you hemorization. But here's the problem with that argument, right? Because I love when you guys. I was waiting for one of you guys to really bring that up one of these years, right? When I caught you on the panel. <laughs> See mm -hmm. when you do that. See, when you do that, here's the problem, right? Because y'all always try to connect that, and then you give the example, well, we know Manhattan is a real place, but Spider-Man lives in Manhattan, right? 
Well, right. it's a comic book, but here's the issue with that. Go we ahead. know that the author of Spider-Man, right, Stan Lee, the creator of Spider-Man, says mm -hmm. it's a fictional character. Okay. He, make, he makes no argument against that. The writers okay. of the Bible never make that claim that this is a fictional character. So you can't make that argument. Yo, yes, that's, that's a fallacy of reasoning right hold there. Hold on, hold that's on. That's a fallacy of reasoning. That's not a fallacy of reason. That's not a fallacy of reason. That's a fact. That's a fact. The biblical writers never says that we made these things up. So you can't. The 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 author of of the the Iliad and the Odyssey never says Achilles was not a, a real person. He never well, says. Uh, hold on. He, hold on. Hold on. He never said none of those um, characters were not historical. Yet we know that they're not. Why do we know that they're not? Hold you on. Oh yes, we. I do know that. Yes, I do. Just know. You right show me now. evidence. Show me evidence of Hercules. Show me evidence of. Show me evidence of Hercules. Show me evidence of Achilles. Show me evidence of Hercules. Show me evidence of Achilles. Show me evidence of Hercules. 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 Show me evidence we can't show that he was a historical person. That's the answer. Okay. okay. But we can't. But we also yeah, cannot yeah. show that he wasn't a historical okay. person. But the, okay, so that's an open-end question. No, that's but not the, an open-end question. Is, but the consensus that God says he wasn't. Let him finish. The, real the, quick. The, 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 the consensus that God says he wasn't the same way he it says that. Abraham and Moses is not a story. No, it does not. Right. We, we got you. Let, 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 let Yara yeah, respond. His, his way out of the situation. Hold on. Let's, 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 go ahead. You got the floor. We have real people that claim that these people were their ancestors. So whether or not you want to say we can't prove that person or disprove that person, we can't do that. It was at one point in time, they didn't believe Attila the Hun was a real person. But now we have evidence that Hitler the Hun was an actual person. So, okay. like, as go we go further, as we go along and further in history and things are being uncovered, then we can start making absolutes where none existed. I'm telling you with this eponymous ancestor argument you guys are making, no absolutes exist. Okay. But they just You're do absolutely not. absolutely right. You're absolutely right. No one's saying it's absolute. But it is absolute that the consensus I'm sorry, I'm sorry, of scholarship that the consensus of scholarship says Abraham and Moses never walked this planet. No, that is the consensus don't. of scholarship. Oh, yes, it does. You can look it up right no, now. Of Abraham and Moses and see what the consensus is. The consensus doesn't say y'all keep saying the consensus of scholars. Um, let me help y'all with this, right? One last time. The majority does not equal consensus. Y'all got to understand what? that. It'll look, oh, I'm going to say it, I'm gonna say it for you real <laughs> slowly, <laughs> Savio. That's a lot. I'm going to say, say it for you so real slowly, So what is consensus Savio. then? Uh, the consensus is when there is I'm a meeting of the mind. Graduate. I don't need you to try to teach me. Let him finish, let oh, let yeah, finish though, bro. Out of respect, let him finish. This is a teaching moment. When there is a consensus of scholarship, there has to be a meeting of the minds across all interdisciplinary studies that come together in a convention and, a, and agree to a get disagree on certain points of history or historicity. That's that's, that's when and then and then they write and then they write a paper or they give a conclusion based on their findings, whether they agree or disagree, right? Or whether they agree to come back at a later point. Of if that's not listen, I'm gonna say it to you again. Exodus. I'm going to say it to you again. 66 percent I'm going to say it to you again with Moses. There is no consensus. So that's the majority of the so, 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 so,
uh, the, did you get that number? I know you didn't just pull it out of hey, your. Dig up the source real quick. So if you got a number that say sixty six, let's look at it under what the light of Yara is saying. Yara, are you saying that that sixty six percent is not uh, doesn't constitute? Uh, a convening of scholars uh, exactly. that 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 came to exactly. a conclusion. It doesn't exactly. You can have watch this. You can have sixty six. You can have sixty six out of a hundred scholars say they dis they agree with something and don't disagree with something. Right out of a hundred, that would be a a, a a numerical majority. But in a contextual academic setting, in That's argument, the consensus, sir. That is not the consensus. Yes, the consensus it is. is no, it's not. Not a hundred percent. You're, you're, you, you, no, you're, 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 you're not ever going to get a hundred percent. Sabio, you you're next. I'm going to give you the whole flow. Let him finish. Easy. But you it's got easy. it next. It's, it's very easy. You can have 66 archaeologists say something did not happen, right? Or there's no evidence for something, and the remaining said that it did. That doesn't constitute a consensus of scholarship on the topic. What consistent what, what constitutes a consensus of scholarship on a topic, there has to be an archaeologist. A linguistics, a geologist, an anthropologist, it has to be across interdisciplinary studies that convene and oh, come shit. together. Now, what you guys well, need to do, oh, hold this on. is horrible. Let, well, let hold, him on. Finish. hold on. Let him finish. What you, you next, need to do is, what y'all need to do is look up the definition of consensus of scholars. Please, okay. right y'all need to do. Now, do I, right I, I, I feel what Yara said, and he made a lot of sense. Let's see your response Not to that, actually. Sabio. So, so. My response to that is the consensus of scholars in scholarship from somebody who graduated with a degree in historical and history is the majority. So if 66% of the scholars say the exodus didn't happen, that is the consensus. Now we have French scholars that disagree. We have scholars on the other side that disagree because this is what happens in academics. So he did make some good points, but the consensus is the majority of the scholars. I would say it one more time. Well, that after they convene, that though. After, after they, they convene. Oh, after exactly. they convene. Right. So, so, the, so, 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 so. Then they're going to just because it's 66% of them. Just so, 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 because 66% so, 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 gave their opinion so, don't mean they convened on it, though. Thank so, you. So, 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 the job is No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me finish real quick. Let me finish real quick. So, the Josh Bowens. The There's James Taybors, the Bart Ehrmans, the 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 the, the Robert Prices, the top scholars, the top biblical scholars, <laughs> the, the Dennis R. McDonalds, the 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 the, 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 uh, the Joe Badens, the top scholars, they all disagree with what Yara and them are pushing. They that, all disagree that, that, with them. They, because they, that's Israel fine that they Finkel disagree with us. Israel Finkelstein is one of on. the that, top. That's fine that they disagree that with us. Raw, hold they, on. That, that is the a chance to and these are the I know, but we don't need the, you to jump in while we're talking. We need to hear this. He's just trying to help out. He's just trying to help out. Scholars. These yeah, that's are fine the that they disagree with us. We're not saying in their that they field. disagree. In their field. That's perfectly I'm fine that they audience. disagree. Let him finish but that them. does not constitute an All academic you have to do is type in the history, history, history of Abraham. Just type it in. And, you know, and read. That's all you have to do. We it getting stream fatigue. I didn't went too long. Look, I'm at three hours and, uh, and almost four hours. Look, <laughs> we getting stream fatigue. I know it'll be hard. Yo, we be doing. We did a good job, you, though. That's all. Hey, look, look. We, we got four minutes to get in our closing words. Everybody, four minutes to get in our closing words. I guess we should divide that up. Thirty seconds, forty-five seconds. Anybody, you, you, <laughs> I see you. I see you right there. A nine or maybe black line. Whoever want to go first, uh, help yourself. I go. I go real first, real quick. Just give me thirty seconds. Anyone who's that can hear this, type in the historicity of Abraham and Moses. Look it up. Read the, read what it says. You have a majority and you have a, a minority in scholarship. You will find that the majority of scholars all over the academic world do not agree that those people ever walked this earth. And they do not agree in the exodus. This is a fact. 
There's no getting, getting around it. That's all you have to do. And remember what I said about you, Hermanism. E Hermanism. That's uh, Tacitus. And, uh, Tacitus and, um, Type and those things that all, all say that Hercules was a, a historical person. There's no evidence to prove this. These Hebrews say Abraham and Moses was a historical. They have no evidence to prove this. All they have is the Bible. So go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry I came in late. I was trying to get in. I was having problems, technical problems, but I, uh, I appreciate it. And I listened to the, to the majority of this show. It was excellent. Very good. And I hope uh, I get to speak with your horror again and the rest of you guys. Peace out. One love. Peace, peace, peace. Who got the flow next? Yeah, let me go next. I'm going to go next. So all I want to say is uh, if we pay attention to this whole conversation, there has been a total total denial of Africa from these people. They showed, they talked about the Amu, they talked about the Sashu, they talked about the Hyksos, they talked about all these people coming into Africa. They didn't once name one African tribe that they claim that these people descend from. So again, what we see here is a hatred and a disdain for the for the continent of Africa, as was shown by the invaders. And we see it being pushed by these, by these Hebrew Israelites as if it's science, as if it's knowledge, and if it's going to help us. We don't need ancient Levitine religions that told our ancestors that everything that they believed in, their ways of life, was inhuman. We don't need it. We don't. And and for y'all to come up here and push it, to have this, to, to and claim that y'all love African people and Black people, and y'all are freeing us, y'all are bringing us to the truth, is a slap in everyone's face on this panel and within earshot. You're pushing mm. white supremacy, and it's disgusting. Mm. Good work. Well said, Sabio. Uh, we want to hey, hear don't, from whoever don't next. Don't do them like that. I'll go next. Don't do them like that. Uh, who don't next? Do there you go. Y'all rock. Right, go right here. <laughs> <Don't do that. laughs> first of all, y'all. Right, y'all are cool, first, man. First, I like them. Go ahead, you like them. First, hey, first of all, Sabio, if you have, if you if you just take a moment to really have a dialogue with us, brother, instead of trying to glump us all in with the one West, then you'll probably see a different side. So I'm not going to even hold that statement you just made to them, because that might be that might be actually true for some Hebrew Israelites or some Israelites, right? So as Yahweh is, this is what we follow, this is what I follow, right? Because if you ask me, I'll take you all the way back to the Tufis, 900, 9,000 to 12,000 BCE that migrated into the Levant area where we can see their rock art and different things like that in this city area living that we see. Right. So we can actually start from there and then talk about the Arabian culture and then look, talk about different back migrations in and out of what we call Israel is nothing but a land bridge. Right. When you actually look at the map. So it, uh, uh, traveling people traveling in between Africa and, and, and what they call uh, Mesopotamia, which only means land between two rivers, is it, that's a, that's an argument to be had. So we're not the people that say we're not the Israelites that say. Uh, we have no culture in Africa. I believe I, life began in the African region, right? I also agree with Sheikh Anthony Joke when it comes to that, right? So I, I, I'm one of the ones that follow the African theory. I don't have an argument against that. So that notion you have, save that for someone else. It's not for myself, right? And I don't believe anonymous Hebrews follow that as well. But I will say this again. I agree that could be a majority of people. In the 1600s, a majority of the scientists, of the, of the, respondent, of, 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 of the renowned scientists, said uh, uh, they believed in craniology. That because white people had larger brains, had larger skulls than, than, than African people, that they were smarter and more intelligent than us. That was the consensus in the 1600s. But we know today that's not the truth. So we're, we're not talking about, because a majority of people believe something, we're talking about a consensus of scholarship when many people across interdisciplinary studies come together, there is a process that goes into that. Before you use that term, consensus of scholarship, there is an academic process that happens. So you can't just throw that word around like Garfield does to try to appeal to authority. 
I'm not you, and I'm not Garfield. Right. So please don't. So, Hold on, we ain't closing. Well, we ain't closing. Just let him well, say well, his well, piece. Well, this well, ain't closing. Well, He's well, trying we don't, to well, well, we're not. We don't push white supremacy either. Yes, y'all do. See, and, I, and I'm willing to, and I'm willing to debate any I'm you willing to teach said? all y'all all y'all white supremacists. Okay, ideology. so we're gonna do that and we're gonna arrange yeah, that. It's good. Yeah, we'll we'll yeah, like, more time, bro. I well, right I, now I he wasn't finished. We already yeah, yeah, done in five minutes. But I'm was you finished, Yara? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna finish here, but uh 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 Smash. Um I appreciate you letting us on your panel, man, and having an honest discussion, man, and and then back and forth. Uh, just the ribbon, man. You hear me giving you on side of the man. That's just that's that's just to poke the bear. That's all that oh, is. I know, brother. I know, I know. This is what they be <laughs> doing, and I always he always wake up and respond. Please believe. Yeah, I, I ain't never was, no love lost. This all the yeah, internet ain't no, anyway. Ain't no love lost, yeah, man. I consider everybody you a brother, man. Head. No matter what, you a brother. We we, yeah, we I love you like everybody on like 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 We have a brother. So you know, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, anybody can reach out to me. That's That's just yeah, absolutely. Anybody can reach out to me, man. I help whoever I can. These are my you. Are, you guys are my brothers first and second savior. No but, doubt. But the rest of y'all, maybe you're your brother too. You just be no, mad. Oh, you just mad at the one, man. I'm just. Oh no, 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 no! I'm not the brother of yes, anybody yes, that's going on. to push. It. I'm just. No, mad. It, whether, no, whether, no, you, whether you I'm, agree with me or not, baby. Let me say. Let me say it. Let me say. You can disagree with your brother, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 Anybody that's going to tell I thought you just closed African people <laughs> anybody, I mean, anybody cold, that's, that's going to tell African people and other humans, not only African people, but other humans. That they have no ways of life, no culture, no God, unless they know Yahweh. That. Stop. You never right. heard me say hold that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. Stop. You just started a whole new no, debate. Nobody never heard me say that. Stop. Stop. Yes. Stop. 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 But I'm Stop. saying, let him finish Stop. so we nah, can you actually out of control, finish this show. Show. Hold on real yeah. quick, because you just started a whole new debate. <laughs> now you're telling him to stop. You feel me? No, I'm not. Because this is the religion. This is what the religion pushes. Go ahead. This is what the religion pushes. I'm telling y'all exactly what... Yahwism pushes one godism. One godism right. is white supremacists, levitine supremacists. Can I, can I close out? And now, that man? is my stance. Yeah, and, all right, because you closed out twice, Sabio. I'm going to teach you. You got a yeah, double whammy on them. So yeah, let's let put, A9 get in there. Go, go put your slides together, bro. He so said, you want oh, that God. smoke? First off, first off. Oh, they're already heard... together. Don't worry. Hold up, Savio. Yeah. Hold up. Hey, all right, come on, Savio. Hey, look, bro. I'm going to ask you not to interrupt me because ain't nobody interrupt you with all that nonsense. Now, listen, bro. This appeal to emotion, that's what I got an issue with. Right? <laughs> first off, you don't know nothing about Yahweh. I could tell. Because if you did, you would argue against Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Right? If that's what you want to argue against about something being white supremacy. Yahweh is something that comes from the ancient Near East with melanated people. That's why me and Smash had an excellent conversation about monolatry. Christianity perverts Yahwism. Judaism perverted Yahwism. Come. Go do your studies on that. And Please go don't learn. try to teach me, sir. I know all about Yahweh. I'm trying to understand well, why you keep interrupting. I'm trying to understand why you keep interrupting. Why you trying to call us out, Stop trying to call us out. What's your problem? What's your problem? talking to all of us. He's talking to all of us. He's talking to me about something I've done. Shows on. I got books on the He's talking to all of us, family. It's all good. I got shows on the origins of Judaism. We don't doubt you, but sit back so he can finish. So, we don't so doubt he's smash not going to close out like I closed out? I'm just trying to let yeah, him do his thing. Now, how he closes you, out. You're putting Nobody down your behavior in history. Kids going to be watching this 20 years from now. Remember how we be looking at the elders? We watch them old videos. So yeah. I just let people do All how they do. All I got to do is close out. All I got to do I is close. Finish let, just let him know, I fam. I can, I can close out and say whatever I want to say, especially when somebody closes out and accuses us of pushing white supremacy. So now back to the point that I'm making. I love Africa. I'm actually working and building in Africa, which is something I can't say for most of y'all, right? I'm actually doing things and moving, making maneuvers and doing things on the continent for our people. And, and the, the other thing is, we're not coming here to press our beliefs on you. I'm right. coming here telling you, this is my belief and I love you for your belief, right? I'm taught not to revile rulers and revile gods. 
This is the real understanding of this. Now, if you want to fight me for my belief, now I got to defend myself. That's what it comes down to. I don't want to be at war with you. But if you choose you want to be at war with me, then we get this scholastic work. It's that simple, right? And then we go get some wings. That's how this should be, right? Sit here, exchange, conversation, and then go get something to eat. But since we get so emotional with this and accuse people of <laughs> pushing white supremacy, bro, I, I fight white supremacy every day. Right. No, so the, the the problem. Yeah. Okay. So the Come problem, on, the problem with the conversation, though, is yeah, people sad. are so caught up in their personal biases. Right. So me arguing for the Bible has nothing to do with, oh, I just can't let it go. Right. If you didn't prove the exodus, it wouldn't matter to me. I just love history. I love to study mm -hmm. it. So this is what I do now. Right. <sighs> me and Asar are great friends. Damn. He'll tell you. That's my guy, right? And we got completely different belief systems. Hmm. The same thing that you saw in the ancient Near East when you're dealing with the Silk Road, right? This whole conversation of us trying to force people to come out of their belief oh, system, shit. that's white supremacy, right? Okay. That's white supremacy. That's okay. colonization. To force me to say, oh, you can't go and get your ancient tradition that you identify with epigenetically. Right. That's what I identify with epigenetically. I've studied Kemet. I don't identify with it epigenetically. I'm not mad at you. It's just not my uh, culture. So okay, at the cool. end of the day, I, I'm not so I'm at not the end of the day, so it's at the end of the day, so at the end of the day, we should all be adults and be grown enough to come here and exchange information without trying to do all the extra rhetoric. Because then you call me white supremacist, I'm gonna call you anti-Semitic, and we know one trumps the other. So fall um, back. Right? I'm not so anti-Semitic. I'm anti. So at the end of the I'm day, so the let the him finish, please. <laughs> hey, I love you, Smash, but this is bad, bro. Like, <laughs> I mean, I can't control. People gotta control. Put the brother. Put the brother in Abraham. Bush. It, it ain't got that you know bad, though. <laughs>